Okay. Um, okay. That's so that's why I'm not including Dark Horse in this one because I think that leads to some confusion. So I agree. But afterwards, if we want to pick one team and it just won't be on the tier list, then we can talk about that. Okay. Um, Two seconds. Let's start off. A twenty. Yeah, you can okay. put those there. That's easy. We could discuss if you really want to, but I don't know how much there is to discuss. I just the last twenty minutes, I just crushed two water bottles. I got to run to the bath. Okay. Okay. Chat, this is a question that I'm actually going to ask Jumba whenever he gets here. Also, to everybody uh, dropping the follows, appreciate you. Hoop Brush Owl with the Tier 1 six minutes ago. I did not forget. I was waiting for a moment. Uh, Brush Owl, thank you for the Tier 1. And uh, Sam and Flame, paying their dues. That means we respect Sam and Flame in this chat. Now, here's the thing I did want to ask you, chat. I put them in the tier initially, but I do want to actually do the order thing here, Okay. So I'm waiting for Jumba because we're going to discuss this a little bit. But if you had to pick TSM or DZ going into this LAN, who are you taking between the two? Like, it, these are the top two contenders. Everybody knows. But who are you specifically picking? And it is overwhelmingly DZ right now. We have, what is that, like seven, eight DZs before we got one TSM. We've got two TSMs versus the wall of DZs. Weegster with the prime. Weegster, appreciate you. Okay. Okay. Jumba's chat, if y'all can hear me, I hope you're answering too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back, I'm back. Make sure okay. yeah, everyone throw in your opinions even though they don't really matter here. I say that for so, it's your list. <laughs> Jumba, here's what I asked the chat. I said, I yeah. put DZTSM in here, but we're going to change up the order depending on how we feel about this. Ooh. You have to pick one right now. Who are you picking to win the LAN? Obviously, I mean, these are the top two teams, but I feel like the order for these two specifically matters. Oh, okay, sir, sir. You said then you said like picking one to pick win the land. So I was like, oh wait, am I going like of all teams or just if we're looking at just DZ, between TSM? these two, just between these two in the DZ TSM tier, who would you pick between these two? Hmm. I'm gonna go dark zero. I think I think we just keep bouncing back and forth. If if it does happen, I think we go dark zero. I will say like if. TSM didn't win regional final. It would have been a very easy decision, but them winning regional final definitely like makes it, they, sh they shook things up a lot and then made this a harder decision. So it's very right. close. It's very close, but I am still leaning to the, the dark zero here. Mm. Mm. So I've gone back and forth on it. And because here's my thought, right? POI tier list already it's done. Just started. Whoa, Aiden. We're not doing a POI tier list. Are you oh. kidding me? We did a POI tier list, what was it, two days ago? Yeah. But that was a POI tier list with every single POI in the game. On so, Moro's channel. Check out So it, it, the, the criteria got a little wacky, so just know that there really is no effective criteria. But yeah, shout out Moreover. Go check out his stream. Uh, your title says POI. I am dumb. It does <laughs> say POI. <laughs> I don't know why. And you know what's really POI funny is like you you definitely had that in your mind because you literally said to me, I gotta change my title. <laughs> I know. And it says POI, dude. Okay. It now says land. Okay, anyway. Uh so you said DZ. Who did the chat say? 60% said DZ. Oh, I didn't poll. even put a poll on mine. I, I, I didn't put a poll on mine, but like I do see not not a ton of people threw it in there, but I see that it's 50-50 from the people that did. Throw it in there. It was way more DZs in my chat whenever I specifically asked. Yeah, I see that. 60% said DZ. Okay, okay. What did you say, Jay? What did you say? Okay, yeah, so here's my thoughts. I My, my gut, based on current performance, would say DZ. But, because like if, if we look at the, the scrims, DZ has mm -hmm. been absolutely killing it. Their mm -hmm. worst scrims performance. I have this pulled up, by the way. Worst scrim performance was a 12-point day. Um, to where TSM, they had a couple days that were off. Now, I don't know the context of some of these. Oh, um, I didn't even know. Oh, because Oversight. Yeah. Wow. I didn't realize yeah. they're tracking on Liquipedia. That's amazing. Yeah. Because I know that TSM was contested. I don't remember which day this was. It might have been the four-point day. I think it might have been with Yoko Yari. Mm -hmm. So there is context here that I don't think will continue into LAN. So if we remove the contest thing, TSM has actually been killing it too. TSM yeah. won regional finals. So... No, TSM's I been think, looking good. I think if I had to pick one of the two right now, I think I might pick TSM. Oh my god, this guy's such a glazer chat. <laughs> no, no, chat. I'm not gonna take this. Go look at this man's channel and go see how many TSM videos he has. <laughs> uh, Let so the record cute. show that this 
this thought will probably change over the next three weeks because I'm pretty sure. Didn't we talk about this um, on my regional finals one with uh, with Wyatt? Wyatt? And didn't didn't I say that I think if I'd pick two, I would say DZ? I, I don't. Know. I can't remember. There was a lot of conversations happened that night. I, that I was also before TSM won the regional finals. Was a lot more cheeks back then. It feels like they've actually kind of found their form, which is the thing I always look for with TSM because if once they find their form, man, they're they're tough. But I agree. That's what scares me because, like, I that's why I said, like, I'm leaning just a little bit over to the DZ side because of the consistent right. por- performance throughout this entire year. And, like, they're sure. still continuing it in scrims. And, like I said, if there was no Destroyer 2009, they were 20 something points ahead of second place going into that uh, third game or fourth game of regional final. Like, they had like 48, and I think Optic was in like second or third with like 26. And they were, they were there's only a two point difference between second or third. I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but TSM goes going and winning and then i've been watching the scrim blocks and like holy crap they're doing so good we see hal subbing every single day which i think you made a good point people are just gonna pick hal to sub over anyone else i think that's a very valid point i don't think it's that other people don't have as much passion but nonetheless he's getting a lot of experience he's, he's playing with all these different teams learning a lot more about their inner workings which if i'm on a team i'm also not wanting hal to be my sub so i stop giving away my strats but i don't know long story short it's very close tsn has been looking good and that lead up to lan you know, we saw last year split two playoffs that two months up to land. They weren't good in the split two season. Then split right. two leading up to it, suddenly they found their form. And I still argue that even though they lost it, split two playoffs was their best performance all last year in tournaments. Absolutely yeah. the best. So. And I will say something that you actually brought up at the beginning that I do want to point out too. To me, this it's like I'm leaning slightly. It's like 51 <laughs> 49. Like, and like I said, there's still three weeks, so this could change by the time that like land comes around. It's just for some reason, gut feeling right now, if it's only those two, I don't know why, but like I said, my brain says DZ, but I just have this weird feeling in my gut that it would just be TSM. I don't know. Yeah, well, um, TSM crushed it last year. There's like no one's blaming you, I think, for picking TSM still. Yeah, and and I will say too that that is one thing that I don't and I, I don't think this will actually affect DZ at all because Sykes is a baller, but it is a different third than they had last year, right? To where TSM it's the same team. This is the exact same roster with I would argue an upgraded POI over on Stormpoint, um, mm-hmm. where you know now they're they're coming to this year after going first, second, first. So who knows? We'll see how it goes. I will say storyline wise, I would rather DZ wins just to even the score and kind of have this back and forth, but. Then if we're going to that way, I'd rather have any other <laughs> storyline. I was about to say so. storyline wise, I'd rather have anyone else win. That's not DZ TSN then. Right. Um, right. Let's see then. Okay. okay. Want to keep the ball leave, rolling? Yeah, I'm gonna leave DZ first here, just because I think a majority of people in the chat, chat used yeah. the DZ. Um, even though I said TSM, I think the majority here is saying DZ over TSM. So we'll leave that order. So now, do we want to go in order of where they're listed here, or do we want to just start throwing in teams kind of randomly based on who we're thinking? Hmm. That's a good question. Let's because go. I think if... Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, I was, I was almost like, okay, the order is easy just because it's here, but I was thinking like, let's go through teams that we can just, like what we want to talk about just because like we yeah. honestly even have more, might have more to say about them if we really wanted to. Right. And then we can okay, get some like, then... the more... Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm free flowing with everything. I'm free flowing with everything. Then pick a team first okay. off. Who, who Let's we starting start with, with uh, just because it's dead center. It's the wrong logo, but it's yellow sticking out of me. Let's go with uh, Legacy. Los Pollos Hermanos that they got here. Okay. To me, they are between God Slayers or Finals team. Mm-hmm. I don't know where I would put them yet. I think they have the potential to maybe be a team that could usurp the top two, but I also have somewhat doubts of their play style, how aggressive they've been, even historically, do they have what it takes to actually win the match point? That's what I don't know. That's that's I'm, the only thing that keeps them on the borderline for me. Well, that's the, and I have, like, I'll say this more when we talk about Moist at some point, but, like, that's, that's a big thing with all these teams. Like, can they close out the match point? Like, we haven't seen right. very many teams close out match point in general. I do agree. There was a couple of things I think you said actually earlier on in the season that did make me be more confident in Legacy, though. Like, you know, a lot of the days they were playing with lag, they were contesting, and when they weren't, they were a top team in the region. And so 
I would put them up in the gods tiers. We can definitely put them towards the end if we want to organize that later. Um, but just because they're not going to be dealing with any of that stuff on land. And, uh, right. and, I, and I might say this several times with a lot of teams today, but I always like to think of some intangible things, which maybe, maybe aren't the best things to think about, but Legacy's coming in with something to prove. And I think sure. that they really want to show show people and, uh, you know, like that, they, that they're a serious team that means even more than just being a top five contending land team. So maybe I'm getting all like, you know, real sports analyst commentator here who doesn't uh, ever put in anything too, too uh, concrete with his analysis there. But that's what I feel for legacy at the very least. Yeah, no, I, I think I, w- I would actually agree. I think I want to put them in God Slayers. I've always felt pretty strongly about this team. They're just one of those teams that like historically, when you look back with all the rosters that have had like huge shifts in a- They've really only had the one major one, which was to bring on Jaguaris in mm-hmm. place of Enemigo. And I heavily value sticking together as a roster. I feel like it pays dividends uh, when you do get to land because there's just chemistry. There's so many more experiences that you've been through that you as a team can like recall and call back on and like go through and use that to be better moving forward uh, to where you know other teams don't necessarily have that. And I'm pretty sure if you actually take every roster since year three, they're like, it's like them, TSM, Oxygen that I think are the same. Yeah. Yeah. From last year, like everybody else I've, has changed. Yeah. And like more than just a duo. Yeah. More and I'm not, duo. and for the record too, I'm not including like a DSG who formed at the end of the year. I'm talking like the whole of year three. They were a roster who are now the same. Here. No, it's those. Uh, are... Is Crazy Raccoon the same? They actually uh, okay. might be included yeah, in that too. I don't know. Uh, it depends. I when, did Ro- uh, when was Ross on Crazy Raccoon and when did he stop playing? Well, te- they weren't technically Crazy Raccoon. Oh, that's right. I always I remember forget that he they switched retired. Yeah. yeah, like I yeah, said, that APAC was... North is going to be where my weaknesses come in here on some of the the conversation. Right, Reject Two. That's actually good comms, and I think TYK might be as well. There. Now that I say that, there's actually a handful of teams, but yeah. they're all outside of NA. So mm-hmm. yeah, those are just the NA ones that I knew. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to put Legacy and God Slayers too. I agree with you. Next team that I'm going to nominate here, TYK is not didn't have that. De- that's true. I forgot about that. Next team I'm going to nominate here. I mean, it's the obvious one. We got to talk about Moist. Yeah. I think I, we're putting them in God Slayers, right? Yeah, 100%. I think Moist is, at least in my opinion, the most likely to take it at this point, right? That's like, not TSMDZ. That's right? not TSMDZ. Like any, like, I don't know, any podcast, anyone that's asking at this point, I've been uh, saying Moist, which right now, if you guys go on your prize picks and like, like just. A go against Moist because my teams all do terrible whenever I root for them. But uh, <laughs> well, don't worry. The bigger question is what does Wyatt think? Because if what Wyatt's is, picking Moist, sure. then just then slam any other team that's any not other them. Team. Any other yeah. team. Yeah. Yeah. My thing with Moist is um, I don't know. Like, I've, I've looked at this and I could double check now, but I'm pretty certain that at least for LAN, they've gotten past that 50 point threshold, but they've never had the ability to close out a land on match point like they'll get past it but in the last game like the g- game ends there so that's my only thing with moist is we've actually never seen them in a match point land and it's like mm-hmm. can they win this year but we have seen them in match point finals in apex south and they've they've won it they've won it multiple times and they won it pretty fast right, right. so yeah like you know i i think that they can still do it i'd love to see what they can do if they get that match point uh threshold once they cross that if they could pull out a win there but yeah that's that's like my only only a uh, slight that like why I could see maybe they wouldn't, but mm-hmm. other than that, they've just looked absolutely amazing this year, especially ever since picking up a guild. So yeah, I was gonna say on the guild edition, like that's that's kind of the game changer for me because people, if people have followed me for a long time, they know how much I loved Pricey, and I think the guild is the best third that Moist has ever had, and mm-hmm. that's no slight to Pricey. It's just Guild is he's a top five roller in the world. He has been for a long time. For some reason, during his NRG phase, people kind of thought he had fallen off, but I think it was partially because of some of the role changes that happened over there, um, where he was not playing Catalyst and then kind of gets thrust on a Catalyst last second and. It's a character that historically is just, it takes time to learn. And so, anyway, point being, they add Guild, he's a stud, and now you have, I don't know if most people would agree with this, I think they have two of the top five controller players in the world, not including IGLs. Because once we include IGLs with like Yanya and Hal, then the list gets a lot more, you know, strange. But removing IGLs, they have two of the top five controller players in the world, so Moist, I'm putting them in God Slayers. Next team that you want to nominate. Hmm, let's go... 
Kimchi, what is that? Kimchi just posted a bunch of dead emotes in my chat. You don't agree? You don't agree that Waltzy and Guild are two of the top five rollers, not including IGL? Not yeah, not including IGLs. We can we can. Oh, he's. Oh, the t I thought people were pointing out like SSG saying players from them. Walter gets cleared on the bench. Oh my gosh. We're going to have Kimchi versus Waltzy boxing match, wrestling match. What are we doing? The two biggest guys in the scene. <laughs> do, do like, you know, we'll just ask this, Kim, like, uh, like, uh, like name five that you think are better, which is, which is like, it's not even a thing to like test you or something like that. I'm just curious to see what you would say. <laughs> Beto's oil mud pit. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> I think I think that might pull more viewers than land. We have the B stream just like officially broadcast that as like a side event. You know what I mean? I don't on, know. I think that pull more viewers on the on the main floor, just to, just right in front of the stage. Actually, it'd be even better if it was on the top half of the stage. <laughs> he just said when you asked him name five that are better he said every revenant yeah, i ran actually into at rank. he's not wrong like now that he says that like there's probably a lot more revs in rank that are better than most pros so i agree there true <laughs> true okay next team that you want to nominate uh let's go let's 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 e8 e8's i think an interesting one let's talk e8 mm, okay what are your thoughts oh you, you want, want to, to nominate them. Okay, okay okay i have my thoughts but what are yours e8 Hmm. You know, they're one that I do think is just like just because we haven't seen that this trio on a LAN, I think like they're right in between that make or miss or finals team. I'm having troubles figuring out exactly where to put them. Um, they were definitely a, a surprise to a lot of people at the beginning of this year, but I've been liking their performance since the beginning of the season. I do have confidence in them that I think that they could make finals, but you know, I just I wonder if like there's just something that goes wrong doesn't go their way that might make them miss. So, yeah, I'm, like, teetering between those stages, which is tough. I'm going to pull up just to uh, illustrate this. In NA, they weren't able to win a single match day or game, which was somewhat interesting. But I bring that up to say they were really consistent apart from that. Like, mm -hmm. 18, 12, 16, 13, nine's their worst day, 14, 50. They were always kind of, like, in that range. In scrims, how have they been doing? They're 18th. It looks Once like they again, haven't played as many days, though. Is that right? Yeah, they, like they have a do not play. They okay, have one just day one. there. Just one. Shubi and Zap are new to LAN, which is the one interesting part for me. Zach hasn't been to a LAN since year two champs. Year two champs, yeah. So that's where, that's why it's just, it's just, Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, sorry. I thought I cut out there for a sec. Um, that's where it's like it just it's tough for me because I we haven't seen them on a LAN, but we have seen them in NA, which we obviously do argue often is uh the toughest region and such like that. So, you know, that's that's why it's like it's tough for me to say final scene, but I think that they're really good. Like, 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 you know, if we did have a dark horse and we said like this is a team that might be able to you know go on a really crazy run not even just to win it but go on a crazy run be like a dsg or a black and i can see it being them so maybe that is yeah. like maybe that's why i would say like i'd put them towards maybe like one of the lower ends of the final teams or the, like the guaranteed final teams or i don't know it's tough because then make or miss that, that's basically what make or miss is so right yeah i hmm I feel like maybe we should change the title of make or miss because that also feels similar to wild card because i was actually thinking i wonder like i might put them wild card but i also after my vod review i kind of a i'm i'm tempted to put them finals but then there's also something that holds me back which actually yeah, we're gonna put them in make or miss we're gonna put them in make or miss that's what we're gonna do because i with with ea i could see them like you said like literally place top five mm -hmm. or i could also see them maybe just have some issues that because like i said you know they haven't won any games in terms of you know na pro league so maybe they have like somewhat of a limited ceiling that consistency could be good but if you have a couple bad games involved then who knows but i i don't know i i'm conflicted because i do partially want to put them in finals because i actually really like the the seer catalyst thing that they were yeah. doing were you were you in my stream when i was doing that vibe? yeah i was watching the entire thing I didn't know that you could see the footsteps through Cyril on a cat, like through a cattle wall, enemy or friendly. And I don't expect that to get changed before land. I could be wrong, 
but I'm not expecting them to just drop a patch all of a sudden within the next three weeks that removes that. Yeah. And I I feel like the fact that they're one of the only teams that is committed to this somewhat plays in their favor because the uptime that they're going to have with a Seer Alt versus all these like smokes and caustic ults, they can just fry out where the other team is so much more reliant on like a well ti- like timed Bloodhound scan. Yeah. Which I don't know. It makes me think that they could just end up being a finals team. Yeah. We might see them just like comp diff people again. Right? Yeah. Right. Right. That's why with like this make or miss, I do like the, like if it's like the make or miss, like it's just like that's where it's so tough because it's like, right. hey, you know what? We, we could keep them there. We could always rearrange this after. Yeah. yeah. Right. We'll keep them there. We'll rearrange it. Because we'll like, yeah, we'll definitely have teams where we'll be like, no, we definitely think he hates above them. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to get this team out of the way because I think we're going to agree on this one. This is a really obvious top team. Um, Legends Gaming. Yeah. God Slayers, we're going to put them up there. God Slayers for sure. Yeah. Okay. You know, with their previous performance, you know, then performance pro league, everything all around, you know, solid teams to be, to be the God Slayers. I'm changing make or miss to could qual. I'm just going to say could qual. Yeah, because like the could make or miss, yeah. it, it feels too similar to uh, to wild card. I don't know. That's how I've been yep. thinking of it. Yeah, legends. I think yeah, they're god slayers. They place top three. They're they're one of the top teams. Like yeah, they're not doing too great in scrims right now. But you got to keep in mind like the ping diff that they're ping. playing on. These dudes are contesting with like three hundred ping. It's kind of insane. On both maps, they've had landslide ones. They've had stormcatcher ones. If they can get their POIs uncontested at some point, then I think they're going to be good. If they don't get it, then They'll, they'll figure it out because they're one of the most adjustable teams in the world. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if, like, I mean, that kind of goes for anyone. I think anyone, if they're going to be dealing with a contest, especially on finals, is probably going to have a tough time. Like, it's very 50-50 up in the air. Like, you know, we see uh, Disguised, you know, former Dojo. Like, yeah, they succeeded in champs because they won all their contests. Well, it was only, what, the first two games, right? But if, if, they just, if Alliance decided to contest them the entire time on world's edge they definitely don't place fourth place overall right it's because yeah. they got that poi and they they've finished the contest before so you know yeah so, i will say to Rui's point in chat he said the legend con with how is dangerous that's the one over at Stormcatcher, and i actually agree because how has been one of the teams that's really impressed me throughout the scrims like i didn't know too much about them because i don't get to watch a ton of apac north but mm-hmm. they've really impressed me even apart from scrims and like that can somewhat put pressure on other teams but then you know we've seen in the contest it's kind of gone back and forth from my recollection i don't know the exact scoreboard of it but storm is just one of those weird ones where it could get like on land if it plays out like it has in scrims then tsm is actually going to come up with 6kp so that's where i don't know how to feel about that one because mm-hmm. it just if it stalls out so much tsm or whoever lands a lightning rod is just going to show up and kill everybody so yeah good points all anyway, right. next team you want to put up? Um, I think this is one that's another one that's like a easier one that I'd love to throw up there would be Fnatic. I finals team, pretty standard mm. I think there. Like I don't know okay. if they're, and maybe this is me just thinking about like past land performances and everything like that. Uh, but you know, I would just simply say that uh, I know that I I feel like I'm confident that they'll be able to bounce back and make finals this time. I think they obviously have the ability to win, but I just, I don't know if I'm that confident yet to slap them in God Slayers. I'd like to keep God Slayers kind of exclusive to a few teams. Sure. So, sure. Yeah. yeah, so my thought was, I personally, and this could be just straight copium, but I think I would put them God Slayers. You think you'd put I'd them probably God? put them below all the teams, maybe except for Legacy. I think they're debatable, but they've been absolutely frying. They fried in Pro League. They're frying now in scrims, like despite the ping, like they're number five in terms of scrim performances with two different scrim match day wins, which I don't know, like their their ceiling feels super high to me, but at the same time, actually, sorry, three different scrim day wins, three oh, different wow. ones. I didn't see like yeah, um, the, this one. So the their ceiling the feels super today. high to me. And I think specifically something about the current meta with the Bang Bloodhound just enables Yuka to go just nuts. Like that guy, when when you're fighting through smokes, like he's just he's diffy right now. So <laughs> I'm I kind of want to put them God Slayers, but I can understand limiting them as a finals team. Yeah, again, like we could put them God Slayers at the end. Like if you want yeah, to, it's sure. just um like like yeah I I guess like I'm just trying to think of like. 
the differences, like when it, you know, the going gets tough and like the land performance and everything like that. And how have they done historically in finals lobbies? Are we aware? Their best finish was a fourth in year two. I think that was champs. I could be wrong on that one. Last year, champs, they didn't make finals, but that was two different players. That was yeah, uh, Melstera and Umi Chan. Um, so uh, these are also different rosters, right? Because this yeah, one, it's just, rosters, it's, the same, it's just so. different rosters. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we could always, uh, like, we could always, it's, it's up to you. You make the final call. We keep you in finals team and move them up later if we want, or we could put them in God's layers and decide if we really wanted to move them down later. Yeah. We'll keep them in, we'll keep in finals team for now. And then we'll, we'll see, depending on how many teams we get in God Slayer and finals team by the end of it. I don't think God Slayer is going to have too many more, but yeah. Uh, I do want to throw in the one that I feel very strongly about, and that's Space Station Gaming. I'm putting them in oh, God Slayers. Yeah. I don't know how you feel, but I'm putting them in there. I think <laughs> they have. I can't remember who I was talking to about the other day. Maybe it was Wyatt on the pod. And mm -hmm. like, I, I had almost like forgot about SSG. And I think I even said Dark Horse, but like unintentionally, what I meant by it was that I think that they're a team that can take down DZ, TS Salmon. I'm like, and for the most part, I'm like, that's from Jayhawk over the last year, just fully getting me bought into. Phony's made every single final. He's got to match point every single time. Like he just needs to win the game. So yeah, like I'm fully bought in on them, everything like that, you know? And hey, last time Frex played for SSG, he was one fight away from winning champs. So, you know? Uh, if we're doing this in order... I, how do you feel about them? And I think Moist is above them, but how do you feel about them versus Legends? I would take them over Legacy if we're actually doing an order. I think over Legacy, I agree. Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, I think over Legacy, I agree. Over Legends, um, yeah, I think over Legends. I would agree. Yeah, I think I, I personally would take them over Legends. Here's my spiel chat that Jumba just said. Phony makes it to match point every single time except for the split one playoffs at LAN last year. That's his first ever LAN. Uh, they also were playing, you know, with Capper the whole split. Then Cody has to sub, and that's no disrespect to Cody, but it was just like, you know, less experience with him than with Capra. Um, and so, which they did play all scrims with him, but, you know, a roster change before a LAN is never great. Um, so, you know, and I think that was the least talented of the rosters he's had. He goes over to phase, boom, fifth, sixth, and now they add Zainu, who I think is an upgrade um, because I don't think that Snipe fully fit in the role that they wanted him to be, but also this kid Zainu, he won a land. So, like, you add him in as your fragger. Phony always makes the match point. Even in regional finals, we just saw it where TSM wins. SSG was in that same game, final four, with TSM and Legacy uh, on match point with a chance to win. So... I, f I feel very strongly SSG, specifically Phony as an IGL, but his team too uh, is a team that they're going to be on match point. It's just can they close it out and like finally be the team that does it. That's that's what I'm waiting for. I'm so. being told we hype up Moist as much as we do XSET. I Listen, we definitely hyped up XSET and XSET maybe didn't hit expectations as we wanted, but like hyping up Moist who placed second by a reasonable margin in in pro league like you know 25 points over third which was tsm i don't think we're hyping them up at all and like they're continuing to play good we talked about guild coming in and how it's the best fragger they've had i don't think we're hyping them up and i don't think it's crazy to say that they're that ssg is below moist uh, if we look at uh, consistency over the past split so no here, here's one thing I'll add to about Moist that I don't feel like they ever get credit for, but I, I think I told this to you. Maybe it was someone else. Um, anyway, point being, Moist, I'm actually super impressed with historically, despite maybe they didn't have the greatest of land finishes last year towards the end. Um, there was somewhat of like the roster changes going down with Pricey Listen, stepping away from the team, so I give them the a little bit of a have. break for that. That's just how it um, is, Because it wasn't like they, to my knowledge, just <laughs> so, like dropped him. Just know that's so legacy. Stepping away. Appreciate so... They have to get a roster change. They pull in Fussy for champs. It wasn't a great role fit because they needed someone to more be that anchor. All of a sudden, they pull in Guild. He fits the role much better. Uh, I think he's also you know, the better roller player. I don't I think that's a commonly held opinion, but point being, Sass they previously were the fastest rotating team in the world playing Crypto Watson from Cascade Balls and were able to reach that 50-point threshold at split one playoffs. That was... Like, they didn't have a game to win, right? Which you brought up earlier. They didn't have a game to win, but 
They reached it, okay? I so they've shown they can do it. This is the best roster they've ever had. As Shug said, they've never gone through the losers bracket. I'm pretty sure Waltzy is the only player to never go through losers who's Very been to all the lands. Very true. Um, so all these things, then you add in Guild. Like I said, who's their best player. And they've successfully transitioned from being the fastest rotating team in the world to playing stacks, big mod, running like an edge comp and clearing space and dominating NA like that. I don't and, know. I, I feel like Moist is their studs. And Land Guild is also a different beast, right? Like when I oh, think yeah. like like he made his name like in that first LAN with Liquid, like for how like hard he was fragging out. And then even at champs, like I know it was group stages, um, and then like there was like the, the losers bracket round two, which you might argue aren't like the best uh of the 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 rounds, right, to judge by, but Gil was kind of carrying energy through those. Like, there were some duo and solo games that Guild turned into big winning games for the team. So, yeah, Land Guild is a different beast. Um, and, you know, playing with, with Moist, who's, you know, kind of on a tear ever since moving to North America. It's, right. it's going to be a scary team, man. And what Chari said, they also have the POI that's going to get zoned all the time. So, yeah, that's I mean, the geez. biggest thing, right? Yeah, it's always pulling down to that corner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we put Fnatic and Finals team. Like I said, I would argue that Slayers, but that could also just be me hyping them up a little bit. So I'm okay to leave them in Finals team at least for now. Okay. Um, who are we do you? Did me? you? Who'd you nominate? Fnatic or did I? I think I, you did. I right? did Fnatic. I did Fnatic. Okay. Aiden asked earlier for us to talk about Reject. So yeah, let's talk about it. Reject real quick. The other APAC North team that I think is being put on that pedestal. Mm -hmm. I would also put them in finals. I would put them finals team. Like I said a couple times, unfortunately, like this is uh, where my uh, my lack of knowledge on APAC North comes in. But I seeing throughout PL that they were, you know, they kind of bounced back and forth between first and second with Fnatic. Correct me if I'm wrong. And they got like a lot of good mm -hmm. talent there. Nonetheless, like I truly believe they'd be a finals team for sure. Yeah, they're studs. I mean, they were the only APAC North team at champs to make it to the finals. Um, they play second in APAC North this split. They just won the regional finals. Now, here's yeah. the debate, and people are already putting it in chat. Who would you take between Reject or Fnatic? This was a point that was very contentious when I was doing my uh, my power rankings. A lot of people were more on the Reject over Fnatic train. I think, personally, I'm more Fnatic over Reject, but what would you say? I do agree with the Fnatic take, probably maybe because I'm a little bit more familiar with Yuka, though. Um, I do, ha and I have seen the reject wave though between the comp Reddit, some of my mm -hmm. videos. Like anytime like this conversation comes up, I do see and like even the power rankings we do with the comp Reddit, I do see the reject wave. So it's another one that, from what I understand, like is very close, and uh, for me is really exciting because I'd love to see APAC North pop off. I can't imagine if they win, what the mm -hmm. absolute excitement would be for that region. Yeah, I will say Reject and Scrims recently, uh, they actually won two two uh, Scrim blocks. And on... does sub days take away from their points? Is that how this is calculated? So 113, but with two sub days in there? I I would assume yes, but I don't know. But if it does, that's actually that's crazy, crazy with two sub days yeah, that they're all the way up here. Yeah, seventh and like, you know, they're less than what, 11 points from Fnatic. So you put in those two days, they're actually technically ahead of Fnatic. Like if you if you want to try and extrapolate the performance, what are they averaging there? 13, 8, 18, 16? You know, okay, yeah. they had one day with a one pointer and one day with an eight pointer. Oh, okay, they actually have the seven in there. So yeah. it kind of, kind of, you probably have to do the math on it. But, you know, I think they get 11 points over those two days undoubtedly. We don't believe Zach. Uh, he definitely just dropped one of his roller players three weeks before LAN. It's, I don't know, it's going to happen though. <laughs> Can you link that scrim sheet? Yeah, I got you, Funk. Okay, so we got Reject, Fnatic. I, I would kind of put them on the same tier because I will say I do somewhat agree with um, people that bring it up in the chat that Reject's play style, I think, is a little more favorable to actually potentially closing it out in a finals lobby to, to where Fnatic is the team that, like, they're going to just run at you and fight. So... Break it down for me. How do how do you reject typically play? Because like I said, I'm not. I like APAC North. I just I didn't get a chance really to dive into much of this split at all. So uh, I mean, just compared to Fnatic, they're definitely more flexible. They can play zone. I do think that they're also really good at fighting. Uh, what up, Mama Wig? Appreciate you being here. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I like they they are just more flexible. To where Fnatic is much more of a uh, we're gonna run at you kind of a team. <laughs> Fucking design. <laughs> Listen, design, let the record show. I argued that EA should be potentially a finals team. 
But then when you bring up, you know, Shuby, Zaps, First Land, Zach, been a year, you know, you got to throw in all these factors. Who knows? They didn't win a single game of Pro League. You know, that's why we put them in good qual. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Next team you want to nominate. I mean, if Design's here, like, you know, he's he's trying to flame, like, EA, why don't we throw Disguised in early exit? We could do that. Like, I, I see that happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Let's just leave yeah. him there and move on to the next thing. Early exit. Okay, yeah, now, what do you next. actually think of DSG? No, no, I would put DSG um, in finals team for sure. Like, definitely would be able to get to a finals team up there. Yeah, okay. No, no, like, you know, one fight away. No Digi Day. Um, and they're they're winning that. They're winning that for sure. So okay, no God Slayer, just final steam. <laughs> God Slayer, you think God Slayer? Um, I guess like yeah, well, we know. Like I said, there was one fight. Like I put them top of final steam. Like I said, I'd like to keep God Slayer like exclusive. And this isn't no offense to DSG. They've been an absolute monster ever since champs. However, I I don't know if like I would put them as like. The 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 a hundred percent guaranteed or like I guess we're obviously not guaranteeing, but I don't know I don't know if they've got me over that edge to be the team to mm-hmm. take down the DZ TSM just yet. Here's my thought. I I think they could be somewhat similar to Legacy, where like I said, I I was kind of in between the God Slayer and Finals team. I think they could be. Um, the only thing that really holds me back is uh you know what they're putting in the chat no more zone wraps buddy like i don't know if the zone wraps are going to work as well design full they're specifically targeting you and aurora they don't want you guys sitting in zone you're gonna die after sitting in there for five minutes uh no but i I will say for dsg the one thing that actually does really stand out to me and i know that design said this and some people might meme him for it but his calls on land were significantly better than what he did in pro league at any points and i do think that there's like that added level of locked in that dsg does have oh absolutely absolutely you know he gets the goggins motivation going while he's at land like you know it's a different beast it's a different beast so here's what i'm gonna say i i personally put them next to legacy and either that means we move legacy down to finals team or we put the dsg up in god slayers okay we could let's throw them up in the god slayers let's do it okay (laughs) okay we're gonna do it and I would actually put DSG above Legacy personally. Do you agree with that, or would you take Legacy? They like, I mean, it's one finals lobby we got to see, but they were pretty, uh, uh, pretty monstrous in those last few games. They're getting up onto match point, and you know, they definitely, I think, had the ability to win it. I wonder what would have happened if they got into that three v three fight against Black End after. Uh, that's you know, because I'm confident they would have killed TSM, but I, I wonder what happens in the Black End fight after. You know, especially as I'm going through like this game, like pretty in depth right now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like honestly, I don't know. This could just be pure speculation, but I think they probably beat Blackhand just because of maybe comp diff, but because they do have the uh, the horizon to where Blackhand doesn't. Yeah, but I don't know. It could be just it, we don't actually know what would happen if it really broke out. So yeah. anyway, um, you pick DSG or did I pick DSG? I think I picked DSG because I said okay. the sign was. Is it? Then I want to bring up Alliance because this is a team that I think is really interesting because I think there's a lot of strong takes here. Yeah. They're not going to be contesting DSG to our knowledge. I've seen that a lot during the international scrims. They haven't ever done it so far. And I can't imagine that Alliance is all of a sudden going to bring it back like surprise contest on land. So I'm expecting them to land Lightning Rod and Thermal when those two teams are not in the lobby, TSM, DSG. Mm-hmm. Uh, but mm-hmm. I do think that when they are in the lobby, we're going to see Monument and we're going to see... It was a north pad, so yeah. And then, how does that affect them when they're not landing at their preferred POIs? You know, if sure. they get to finals, and we're kind of confident DSG and TSM are going to be there. Like, how is that affecting like how their performance is going to be on the day that they don't have their best POIs? Right. Are they going to be able to adapt to that? Now, they obviously have unlucky in replace of Yuki. Um, you know, we've seen how good they've done in scrims. Like, they've been how many w- blocks do they have? I think they have two block wins. However. On the day they took second, second place or second place overall right now. So oh, yeah, they, whoa, they yeah, are. <laughs> yeah. So they have two block wins, but then see that they almost had back to back on uh, in round one, April second, April third. That mm-hmm. second uh, where they got second place right there, I'm pretty sure they were 
they lost by one point to SSG by SSG winning the final game of that scrim yeah. block. But they looked pretty serious that day. So they technically would almost have three scrim block wins here uh, if that, that last game happens. And not for anything with scrims. I've noticed that sixth game, no one seems to care. The sixth game is right. the worst game of every single set. So yeah, the, the difference in four points there, I think that they're looking pretty good. I, I definitely put them in finals team still. Um, again, I don't know if like I'm gonna add them to God Slayers just yet. No, no. Um, here's the thing, especially with the POI thing, but they are looking good. Yeah, I was gonna say here's the thing that I think prevents them from being in this kind of a tier is that they, if TSM and DSG as we expect are going to be in that finals lobby, then Alliance is having to play from completely new POIs mm -hmm. that they have some experience from scrims, some experience from certain group stages, maybe even a little bit more experience from a potential winners or losers bracket scenario. But I, I just feel like, I don't know, the POI thing throws me off a little bit because then I don't know what to expect. Because even with Monument, for example, I think Fragment's going to be taken. I, I, they're not going to get the whole thing. So It's the first time we'll see them double roller on land, though, right? And actually, wait, where would they play on Stormpoint? Because they're landing North Pad when TSM's in the lobby, and they're landing Lightning Rod when DSG's in the lobby. So they would have to take a completely new Stormpoint POI. Yeah. Which, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, there's certain I ones that it's like, if LG's there, you're going to contest for Zeus. If Oxygen's there, you're going to contest for Barometer. Like, there's all these, like, the list of POIs that are kind of obvious. If Moist is there, you're going for Echo. Probably not. If you're going to avoid a contest, you're going to avoid a contest, so... Yeah, and you can't even take, like, those mid-POIs, like, you know, like Stormcatcher or anything like that. You can't can't even go there. Design like, said, I'm guessing a Hal Meltdown into an Alliance Grief, then a Lightning Rod Grief by Alliance. <laughs> Sending Hal into full tilt. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what if a what if Alliance just chooses what if Alliance just chooses to uh, to contest TSM for all the finals just so someone else could finally win? <laughs> Imagine, you know that's what we should do. We should we just need two teams to just take one for the team. You're gonna contest DZ and you're gonna contest TSM, and you know that's just how it's gonna be. You're gonna be on your ape gang mode where you know that's just what it is. Okay, who's, who's got the is. most money in the scene that hasn't won a land? I could just pay these guys off, and then like you know who's gonna know? No one's gonna say anything. Listen, Luminosity, throw some money, you know, to some of these teams <laughs> yeah. and let's get it happen, you know? Let's yeah, get it happen. yeah, yeah, just throw I it I know out you guys got room. some cash, like, let's like, make it happen. Especially if, like, an unsigned team gets there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, LG just throw some money to some of these teams' ways and then all of a sudden Sweet's got a better chance to go win it, you know? No, anyway, yeah, I think I agree with Alliance and Finals team, but I would probably put them back into Finals just because of that uncertainty of the POI thing. I don't know. The POI thing, yeah, yeah. Especially because even... Winner's bracket is going to be interesting. Like, do they get through winners? Do they have to go to losers round two again? Yeah. Because we saw what happened with the contests. Right. So, okay. who's next? You did Alliance, right? I did Alliance, yeah. Want to talk? Let's go, uh... Let's, let's, talk, uh, let's talk Aurora. Let's talk Aurora. I'm putting them in wild card. I feel like this is yeah. a cop out because everybody puts them in wild card, but that's where I'm putting them. But uh, like, okay, so I guess I picked them, and I was, um, yeah, like, see, wild card and could qual confuse me. Like, 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 what what are we doing here? Like, is wild card like we think like they can absolutely win it, or we think that they can't make it at all? Here, is that what we're here's wild here? card to me? Is you have no clue like what the expectation gonna, truly is okay. for that team? It's like they could just bust her out and be 40th place. Or they could make finals and like do really good. Like there's just such a wide range of possibilities. And the reason I always say that for Aurora is just because their play style. They, their play style. Now they're running the lifeline stuff. Like I do think that they somewhat adjust when they get to land. But even then, does the adjustment kind of hurt them where they're not playing true to themselves? I don't know. Aurora just always feels like a, a wild card team to me. Have they switched? I was watching like the first week or week and a half of scrims pretty pretty seriously. They have not switched off of lifeline yet. They're still running the lifeline. No, post they're still everything. running the lifeline. Yeah, like they're definitely going in with a pretty different play style than everyone else, and they just love to fight everything, which on LAN is where you kind of get hurt with that. So definitely could find themselves an early exit um, if they're taking a lot of fights early and, and not winning them the way that they probably expect to. Right, um, but then mm -hmm. like you're right. Like if they do win them, they're a scary team to fight, especially when they're constantly running triple reds and everyone else is running triple blue. So I do like that. I do like that. Okay. Yeah, we keep so uh, this we're, we're gonna get a little controversial here. Okay, we're gonna go Navi. Navi. I was Thoughts? thinking Navi next. No, you go first. You go first with Navi here. 
Early exit again. Oh, the chat's going to love that one. It's just happened what too many is- times <laughs> that like, I'm not, it's not even like a hater thing. It just happened no. too many times for me. Like I need to see them prove it before I can see anything else. Yeah. I don't you- even agree with the wild card. I put them in wild card for split two playoffs and then they did it again. Like I, I have to see them do it before I can like truly believe they actually have a high ceiling. Yeah. Especially like they also went through a roster swap. Now you wonder if you wonder if like, if it's like the bright lights or something, because how could a team performs so well in the pro league every single year. I, th- I think and it's then, somewhat related to the way that EMEA plays versus the way that a land plays out. It's just very different. But then and how I don't come think- other EMEA teams can still do decent? Like teams that don't do as good in like the pro league, pro season, right? Like we've seen like, like they didn't make this land, but we've seen E6 at multiple lands. We've seen Alliance at multiple lands. We, we've seen teams at multiple lands and get to finals at like KCP. They've all done it. Um, But like you know, vexed last year was performing better than them when it was the regular season. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I just, like I said, I I can't, I can't put them earlier than, than that until they prove to me they can do it like two times in a row. They've been so hyped up and it was like, because of what they did in pro league, then like they do terrible the first time. Like, okay, it was their first land. The second time around, it's like, okay, do they learn from it? They didn't even make a roster change. It's like, how do we, how do we improve upon what happened last time? And then the exact same thing happens. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Agreed. I know it was only two lands, but in, in Apex, two lands is a lot. Like, we haven't had a whole lot of them, all right? Especially <laughs> yeah, if you been... only include the ALGS era. Because I did actually, I was thinking about this earlier today. I feel like a lot of people include X Games and, like, a lot of crazy stuff. But, like, X Games didn't even, like, the way that you could qualify for that was crazy. There was no APAC teams, to my knowledge, or APAC North teams, at least. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, X Games gets weird, so... Apex, yeah, yeah. X Games is super weird because, like, there was teams in there. Like, so most, it was, I think, 14 invited, no, no, 16 invited teams, maybe 18 invited teams. And then, like, there's two to four teams from different regions that could qual um, yeah. through kill race tournaments. And I have yeah. heard, I have not, I'm not going to name names who said this, but I have heard that even to qualify through those, those kill race tournaments, there was some cheating going down. Where people were joining different servers, playing like Sao Paulo yeah, servers. playing Sao yeah, Paulo to get to get it. That's what I've heard. So yeah, X Games I would never really factor into the discussion. Poland, I, I also don't entirely factor Poland into the discussion. The only time I look at it is like if you try to discount someone like TSM for winning, um, mm-hmm. the, like that. Like I don't think you can because it's like at the time everyone was on the same skill level and they won and like they've continued to stay above the competition like even today so that's the only right. thing i'm saying is like yeah you, i don't deny that you could take probably any of these 40 teams put them in that land and they're winning it if you take their current stage now and put them in sure. poland but for the time period if you try to almost like extrapolate the skill quality and like what people know about the game i'm saying like you you can't discount them for that one purpose but right. i'm also like yes when we're having this conversation i'm looking at lands and everything like that i'm thinking the first land is split two playoffs with sweden that's my conversation here because a lot of these other teams didn't get the opportunity to even play in poland sure okay next team after navi i pick navi who are you picking uh let's go by the way i do just want to say the chat we've had a lot of responses to e8 being a good qual a lot of people are very upset let the record show I said they should be finals team, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll are see. you you keep saying that? Are you throwing me <laughs> on the could qual? I also put I'm them throwing, like I'm right throwing in between. Uh, you I'm literally throwing, throwing into the bus here. That's like no. the third time you've said that, and you didn't even push that hard to make them a finals team. I know, I know, <laughs> like, I know, I know. I wanted to see how many times I could say it, and if you would call me. I would try to, but then you like last time you went right into like a different tangent, so I no, couldn't. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, like we we did agree E8 could qual just because there's there's a lot of scenarios that we threw out. If you want to go see that explanation, go go back on. We're not going to rehash it. I to call it out one more time and see if you were gonna. <laughs> no, I, I tried. Bring it I up. tried. I tried. You just you keep going on tangents right after. Also, someone says Poland doesn't count if you're DZ. Listen, I love Zero. Love the guy. Let it be known. I'm pretty sure he came like 60th at that tournament. Uh, I think it was 67th. There you go. I'm not mistaken. 67th, so, yeah. and he he. Uh, I mean, he did pick up two teammates like a week before, like that he met in a ranked game. Like I think he said he met Jaro in a ranked game, but still, nonetheless. True. Nonetheless, okay, you're, they want to funk, funk is wants there LG. saying LG, so we could do LG. Another <laughs> early exit team, <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I guess, yeah, there below you go. Navi, is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying below Navi, yeah. Where are you actually putting them? No, where, where am I actually putting them? Um, I think I'd put them on, on another finals team. 
and I don't know if I'm putting like a lot of stock into Sweet making every single finals, but they've performed like I, I've been on the LG train since week one. A lot of people who thought oh, this team wasn't going to perform throughout Pro League or anything like that, I've always thought that they were going to be able to do it. They were going to be able to get back to land, and uh, you know I can't see why they they wouldn't. And this isn't just because he's in the chat. Funk's a fragger, right? Like, he's, like, killing it. And he used to kill it with meat lovers, too. So, yeah. I, I can't see why they wouldn't perform uh, in a LAN environment with the experience the Sweet has. I would, like, yeah, it's tough, though, again, because of my lack of knowledge on APEC North. I said that, like, a hundred times. But I don't know, like, would you put them at the top? Where would you put them? What's, what's your conversation there? Nick is asking, what is what is the category? Zap okay, so <laughs> obviously TSM DZ category, that's self-explanatory. The God Slayers is the one that so far we have felt, which the criteria could change once we actually have more teams on here because we, we are going to go back at the end. But so far, the God Slayers was the intention is the teams that we feel most likely could win it and dethrone the TSM DZ. Finals team is a team that's going to make finals. Could qual is a team we could see make finals, could not. Early exit, self-explanatory. Wild card, self-explanatory. So I don't know how LG can be below SSG or Legacy. Uh, okay, first off, on the SSG point, just, I mean, I'm just going to be real. The last two lands that we've seen, what was sweet was 12th and 15th, and he's got two teammates who have never been on land. Meanwhile, Phony picks up Zainu, who's won a land, and he was 5th and 6th. Like, I feel like that's somewhat explanatory. The The Legacy point, I can understand, but SSG, I mean, come on. Come on. Yeah, and then after I see, like, we're still getting, like, hate on, like, E8. Like, we, like, if people weren't here for the E8 conversation, <laughs> once again, like, no. it was, yeah, once again, it was me, apparently. Like, we had a E8, I said, like, they were, like, right in between. First of all, that was also called make or miss. But, like, it was, like, I said I had them, like, right in between there. And it is just because of, like, like, like Jay said himself, Zach hasn't been on land in a year, and then two players we haven't seen, right? That's different from two players we haven't seen on land, and then sweet. I'm, I'm sorry, this isn't to take a shot at Zach. Like, if I could have have it, if I could have it, I'm trying to make this Balding. fair. I think I would put every single NA team into a finals team uh, like spot, and maybe that's my bias, but I think that every NA team is just that good that they can make it there, right? So, but I'm trying maybe. not to. I'm trying to balance out the list to an extent. Not gonna lie, until you put LG in that court category, I think EA is better than every team in that category above them. Once again, no, I'm not gonna say. It. I'm not gonna say it again. People can go back anyway. I can, we gotta keep I can, I can agree with that argument too with the uh, with the with Alliance, but that's why listen again why we have them towards the end. For every team you know in that actually, category, though, I, I'm not entirely sure. Now that we Alliance thing, I actually if if you asked me right now who I feel is more confident in actually making finals, I would take E8 over Alliance. I, I do agree. That's why when you know I was like, no. when I was hearing that like conversation, like 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 that 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 that, that explanation. I right think there. we swap them because here's we here's could. once again the issue with Alliance is like it comes down to potential bracket stage matchups. Like if Alliance goes into a winner's bracket, where do they land on Stormpoint if DSG and TSM are there? Yeah, yeah. To where E8, to my knowledge, is uncontested. Yeah, I could yeah. be wrong on that, but I, I don't think they're contested. Yeah, I'm not sure off the top of my head. So I, I because just the POI thing for Alliance just feels so much more questionable to where and EA uh, anyway, that's a whole nother spiel, but we're gonna leave them there. Uh who did did I pick last or did you pick last? I guess I technically did. It was because like LG. Was doing, say, LG, um, so yeah, you we're gonna go ahead. we're gonna go O seven. O seven, okay, cool. O seven's one I wanted to to throw in there as well oh it's so tough now especially because like i feel like we're like such under like a like a microfine glass like like about our picks like who, I who think... cares if people disagree <laughs> listen if I, all, I want all of you to know if e8 misses finals remember this no, <laughs> yeah it's true it's true i don't want them to miss finals i'm not hating on anything no 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 just let the record show that you're all putting a target on EA's back. <laughs> yeah, the, the the pressure's stacking up. I think um I think 07, I I think in in could qual. I'm not sure. Like, and again, this is another team I was pretty like I was pulling for and watching pretty seriously really? throughout. Yeah, it's I don't know. I, I have tr I have troubles. Like I worry sometimes about uh, consistency. Um I again, where are like I guess it comes down to also like contest POIs, everything like that. If we're Want to be sure, but like, yeah, there you go. There's like scrims, like down in 16th. Like, I'm not entirely sold yet. Like a second ago, I told you I could put every single NA team on a, a finals bracket mm -hmm. tier if I wanted to, and I think I guess that's where sometimes I I get a little bit worried. I'm just not sure. Like you mentioned, with the way that EMEA plays, are they going to be able to stack up and 
right? Like, I don't know if I'm convinced that they're going to be a finals team. Right. Yeah. I will say for 07, um, I, they looked a little bit like it felt like the second half of the season, like season 20 wasn't as strong for them as the first half of the season. And even then that was somewhat unconvincing because like some of these days, right, where they would have the third, they would like suck for four games and then just like all of a sudden go nuts the last two games. So I I could see them and could not qual. I also feel like Nasky on land, he's one of those players that kind of steps it up. I think that his play style fits it more than most EMEA teams. So mm-hmm. I think, but it, maybe we just... He's never missed a finals. That is a, that is a well, factor. Well, he, he did he, with uh, with Panders. When Panders oh, was okay, seven. okay, okay. So, well, at least, like, that, what was that? Was that when, because he was there at Champs. Did he split one playoffs yeah. last year? He was there. Yeah, they got, what did they get? They were KCP by that point. Did they get, like, seven? I could pull it up. I got it on my monitor. Split one playoffs. I think Final they were round. seven. They were, no, wait. I don't see him here. No, split one playoffs is when they missed it. Okay, split one playoffs. Cause I was, split one playoffs is when they missed it. Split I was trying to see if, like, yeah, I was trying to think if they made it to the last four straight. So, no, so it was like one and miss, and then two back to back. Split two playoffs, they finished sixth, and then champs, they finished what, seventh? Uh, yeah, yeah, like they, they literally got match point on the last game when TSM won at the most recent eighth, one. eighth, sixth and eighth, sixth and eighth, yeah, sixth and eighth. Um, which again, like they're making top 10, but like it's a new team, we gotta yeah. remember, we're just talking it about is, two here. different players, it's a new team. Um, and I guess like that's my thing that I'm waiting to see. Like, I haven't seen like performance and scrims that have convinced me yet. And then, as you mentioned, season 20 turnaround, they looked good at the beginning of this the year, like. If they continue to play like that, maybe I'd have them more convinced of the finals team, but I'd put them in good qual for now. That's my opinion. Like, you give your opinion, your thoughts there. I personally put them finals team. I think I'd put them maybe back into finals team, but I'd put them finals team. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing with, like, what I'm trying to think about with this tier list. Like, we're not trying to put, like, 20 people in finals team, though, right? Right. Like, the thing is, like, if we have a lot of people in could qual, it's, I'm not saying that they're not teams that can't get to finals. I truly do believe they can. It's just, like, I think that I'd have more teams in could qual because it's, like, these are teams I'm confident can, like, knock each other out here, right? There's only 40, there's 40 teams, only 20 teams can make it. Right. So if we yes. got like, for example, like we got TSM DZ, we got God Slayers, you know, those five right there. So then we have like our teams that we're confident are making finals. And then I'm trying to think of the teams that I'm like, I definitely think could make it. That could qual is not a bad st- stage, but like I'm also thinking like we don't know. We don't know if they're going to make it. All right. This might just be me. I, I kind of now all of a sudden I want to move DSG and Legacy down below God Slayers. I think finals team. I kind of want that to be a little more exclusive. Honestly. I've only said that like a hundred times. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'll throw you it. under there. I've only said that like a yeah, hundred times. Back and forth. I've gone but, back like, and forth. I'm like, like God Slayer should be super. I said final team for DSG. Then you like, you're yeah, just out true. here like with true. to make me look bad, Jay. You're just out here. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Anyway, we'll move on. Swap. We'll, we'll come back to the end and we'll start swapping. Yeah, teams, we'll but, swap teams around. But um, I said 07. Who are you picking next? Um, oh, I, I thought I had an intro. Oh, let's go wanton dumpling because I think that's an interesting one. Like I've heard a lot of people kind of, you think early exit. Wow. For real? I, I mean, this could just be me having, I could just be dumb and not like be familiar with their game like that, but they've never made it to a finals lobby. They're contesting, or sorry, they're never to a land. They're contesting some really high profile teams. I, I just, that feels like a recipe for disaster. Yeah, I, that's the th- reason why I was like interested in asking even just your opinion on Wanton Dumpling in general because I've just seen so much with them, like like with them being first in Pro League, but still so many people have just been like, Legends is the team from that region. Like no doubt of anyone's mind, it seems, that they're putting Legends above them, uh, which obviously, like yeah, we're going off some history and their experience there. So, okay, early exit. I think I would have put them in could qual, like regardless, but... Hold on, let me, um, 
I want to pull up the spreadsheet tempo has that has drop spots. Let's see it. Is that you playing music or like? Yeah. Okay, I want to make sure that, that wasn't me. <laughs> I was scrolling on Reddit. It's the ads. Okay, cool, cool. Chat, sorry. I've kind of like scrims. ignored it. A lot of stuff going on. I'm not dono walling anyone. <laughs> Just want to throw that out there. But what are we talking about? Video of eating, him eating a banana. Um, oh, okay, one like they do drop NHL spots. ask Wonton, what do they think the best player is, most underrated. Down. I've thought of stuff like that. I've, I've so they're contesting um for siphon against TSM. Hold on a sec. They're contest they're not contested for pylon cool. in that group, but then they'll contest legacy in another group. And then they're contesting reject for siphon. And then they're contesting BR Demons for Siphon, and then they get Pylons. So, I mean, they have a bunch of Siphon contests, which means I'm assuming they probably leave that, this at is... least in one of the groups, like probably against TSM. Yeah, that's what that's what this is, uh, you know, this tier list is a little bit tough. Like, I almost wonder if we do, like, a tier list now and then make, like, another, even, like, the week before again, like you were saying before we even popped on live, because I think a lot of these contests are going to change, like, that last week. The... You know, a lot of them are doing it now because it's still only what the second or third week of scrims, and I just I just see that all changing, just like it did last year. Last year, like everything swapped in the last week, people were going new POIs and everything. So, you know, I do agree. Looking at the contests, I agree with what you're saying, um, and I think we should look at that uh, spreadsheet like for even a lot more as we discuss here. Because um, I mean, yeah, I'm just so curious because like, I think a lot of this stuff will change. Like, I, no one's going to go into land contesting that many POIs. Well, Rui's saying he doesn't think they're going to leave fighting's their biggest strength. Like I said, I'm not familiar with enough with them enough to know if they will or mm -hmm. not, won't. But I mean, like, if that's what he's saying, I kind of trust him. He's a little more familiar with APAC teams than I am. And Baref said they left Thermal to go claim Siphon, which is wild ego. Like, let's here because here's my thought, right? When it comes to like a, a bracket stage, let's say they do somehow through all these groups manage to make it to a winner's bracket. Then they're having Legacy at Pylon and TSM at Siphon. And those two mm -hmm. teams are not mm -hmm. going to leave their POIs. So, like, I, and that's assuming they can make it to that stage. They could be in a situation where they are going straight to losers round two be, because of all these yeah, like, of the contests that they're dealing with. Yeah. So, I I don't know. I, I, I just feel like they're, it, it feels like early exit kind of yeah. all over the board for me no it's 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 a it's a fair and valid point that's yeah and i'm like you know even if like we're thinking want on dumpling might not be the team to leave i'm thinking saying this for like in general like there's a lot of teams that are seem to be contesting a lot of pois right now and i think that's going to change heavily as we get closer to land and we'll probably see some teams go and flex drop as opposed to contest because there's no way you're going to contest three to six games every single set for an entire land. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure looking through that, there was not a single set that they're not contested, at least on one map. Um, yeah, every set they have at least one contest. Yeah. And some of them, they have both, so. Yeah, so there's there's no way. You're, you're going to struggle. You're going to lose points. Even if you win majority of your contests, you're going to still be losing and putting up a lot of points on the table or leaving a lot of points on the table. Yeah. So I, I think that's where I put Wonton. Like I said, if they prove me wrong, they prove me wrong, and I'd be very yeah. impressed. But that's that's currently where I'm putting them. I knew I knew Wonton Zumpling would be an interesting one to talk about because, like I said, like they did so well in PL, but then everyone's been kind of still dead set on Legends being like up in a God Slayer, and no one's even sure where to put Wonton Dumpling. They even like yeah no like with the contest thing, I think they're early exit. Um, I wonder if they're some is somewhat of a wild card team, but I think like the contest keeps them where you put I, them. But to me, the only reason that they'd be a wild card team is because people just don't know. But yeah. like like I said, to me, the wild card means they actually have the potential yeah, to yeah, go yeah, off yeah, in a yeah. finals lobby, and I just don't see that. Like I don't see that with the current POIs that they've claimed. I do not see them going yeah, off in a finals fair. lobby. So, like to me, their ceiling could be making finals if they were to leave. If they don't leave these POIs, I do not expect them to make it unless TSM and Legacy both make it through winner's bracket and then they go to loser's round two and make it. That's the only way that I'm expecting them to do it. And then still, I don't think that they do well in finals if they decide to contest. Yeah. I, they could go to a whole new POI, but if their strength is fighting and they have to go claim like some Garbo, then that, that kind of limits their ceiling too. So... Imagine them dunking on TSM and Legacy and Cons. Like I said, if they prove me wrong and they do it, I will happily eat these words. I will give them the biggest of praise. 
but I just I don't have high expectations. Yeah, you can all clip farm like crazy right now. So you just said no one knew Hand would pop off in Worlds, though. But Hand had actually been on land multiple times. They had made it to a finals lobby where they placed 18th, but they were contesting for yeah, landslide. They, contesting they placed for landslide. 12th in these scrims throughout all the weeks leading up to it. Like, there was signs that was indicating that they were going to do really well. Wonton doesn't have any of those signs. So... Wonton is literally dead oh, last wow. in current scrims, oh, well, they which they play. haven't played a bunch. And for the record, some of these DNNPs is because they don't want to contest on bad ping, so I respect it, but that's just yeah. less experience against these teams that have contested the best of the best. I don't think that Wonton is going to present Legacy or TSM a challenge they haven't experienced before. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. okay. after Wonton, let's after go Wonton, to... You go, yeah. TYK, former IBG, plays 10th at champs. Another Apex South team. TYK. Yeah, they came... Currently, they are... Let's let's look up the... Uh, they're taking mod stacks in a group where Moist is not, but they're contesting Moist for it. Then they're taking Wall and contesting Serenity and... Furia for it. Oh, okay. They are one of the top fighting teams, though. So, and they, I will say to their credit, at champs, they played at dome. So, like, they they overcame that and were able to get 10th. Yeah. Yep. They were the, th th took third place in that last game, by the way, with a rat just hiding out in th underneath Thunderwatch. True. True. <laughs> but um, they're also second last right now when I look at, scrims but they also have not played one two three four four days but on the days they yeah. did play they got like 1.6 points 3.7 points. points now it does suck for these apac south teams are playing between like one to like 5 a.m in the morning so yeah and they're also on like 300 ping yeah and like i literally i've ping, seen so. clips of them contesting a wall on 300 ping yeah so, so it probably they probably don't play just because like it doesn't even feel like it's like useful practice for them at this point which sucks yeah. it's a little unfortunate but um yeah, I I I think I still put them in good qual, like with previous experience and everything like that. I think like again, finals team. Like, am I a hundred percent sure? You said they're one of the strongest fighting teams. Like like like, that's they're really saying. good at fighting. They are very good at fighting. I will give them that credit. That's definitely their main strength. And like I said, they were because of that good fighting. They're kind. Of, they were able to play dome out of one of those situations where they just kind of like wait for everybody to mm -hmm. rotate past. And then they just kind of secondhand loot and then they come fight and they're okay doing that because they're good at it. So, yeah, not being able to see him in, in scrims is, I guess, got me a little bit perplexed right now. Cause like I'm obviously familiar with like their play on land, but like I wanted to know like just some recent play with like, you know, the fact that they're going to end up being flex dropping on land and, uh, and contesting potentially. Like that's always yeah. tough. That's always tough. And that's why I think I, I notch them down to could qual after instead of finals. Yeah. I think, which, hmm, I'm torn between could call, could qual, and finals team. Um, I don't know. I th I think I'll leave them in could qual for now. And we come back. Here's my thought: is that when we come back, I think we maybe revisit these two middle tiers because I'm assuming this is where a lot of teams are going to end up. Yeah. Um. And so I think we kind of reorder once we get to the end. But yeah, I'm going to say they, could qualify. Were for they now. still IBG split two playoffs? Because I know that team's like. Um, I don't know that. Does anybody know on the top of the head, were they under IBG at split two playoffs? I don't think so. Because I assume in. Hold on. I'm just looking at something right now. Where are we? South. YK. They were. Goomba said they were. They were. Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't even see them. Let we're asking, see. like, if they were signed by the org as split two playoffs. Yeah. Because I'm just trying to, like, because they know, were like, there. Yeah. Because I know TR. Are they TYK. missed split two playoffs? Yeah. That's Wait. What, what were they under split one playoffs then? They weren't. They weren't split IBG. Split one plays the playoffs. Like, yeah. I don't know if they were IBG or they might have been. Well, because like, split no, one playoffs, they like, IBG straight was flame was, flame. Like, was IBG. And then he gets dropped. So I'm trying to figure out, like, who they were for split two. They were. Clan and EXO actually kind of balled out until I think it was uh finals, finals where they placed 19th. But like I'm pretty sure in groups they were like top three, if I'm not mistaken. Group stages. 
Yeah, they were third in groups. And then winner's bracket, they did not make it through winners. Losers round two, they made it third and losers round two. Split two playoffs so. in three? Am I looking at the wrong thing? I don't know. Exo Clan, like third? I see Fnatic third. Am I wrong? Is Jayhawk and Jay Miles the same person? No. Very different styles of content. I'd argue, honestly, the complete opposite styles of content. He so makes they... current news slash rumors. I make documentary style stuff on the past. <laughs> they weren't at split two playoffs jumbo yes. they were not at split two. Oh, okay 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 yeah. so we're looking at that's sorry i thought i yeah. got confused with what we were talking about i thought they were at split two playoffs but under a different name okay so they weren't there in general no. so yeah i they, don't they know they didn't qual at all yeah that's what i'm saying then like that's why i don't know i, I could kind of i'd kind of throw them in a could qual era a stage right now yeah i think could qual as well um what are we doing i think it's my round here pick. i saw your mouse hovering over c9 we could do, we could talk c9 uh, that was just where it ended. Okay, <laughs> where do you want C9 to be? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Back to why did I pick an NA team? Like, because again, I go back to like the fact that I think all NA teams could be finals teams. You you're hovering between the bottom three tiers. I'd go could qual or wild card. Personally. I was thinking could qual, like is where I was kind of thinking I'd put them. Um, because they do have well, Sauce has never been on land, right? But like the other two have no. Yeah. 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 It's the only reason I say wild card is because I do feel like they could have a really high ceiling. Um, and here's my logic chat. And some of you guys are going to think this is memes, but I'm dead serious with this. If Naughty plays the speech from Al Pacino <laughs> from that one movie, they could win the whole thing. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I've seen him do it twice. One of which was Lanimals. They needed a huge day. They got a huge day from any given Sunday. Correct. There is video evidence of this, to my knowledge, on like just Apex things or somewhere. I could be wrong. I think Chaotic um, was that land. He did it for that Lanimals day, and he did it for regional finals. Here's, here's the kicker, though. He did it the regional Maybe finals the day it got you. hacked. They're doing terrible. The of All of a sudden, a hacker hacks the whole lobby. And then we get a reset, and they get great zones, and they do really good. Coincidence? It just seems like if Miro he does that, like he hasn't the even time. played much. He plays in, uh, it every time. You just don't see it. That's if I don't see it, it didn't happen. I think they're playing on three hundred. That's why I would argue wild card, but I I'd be fine putting them in good. Yeah. No, that's. I mean, it's a funny point. I'm not gonna lie. Your reason for wild card is an Al Pacino video, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but. Um, yeah, yeah, like good <laughs> Everybody's saying he just plays it every game day, man. I didn't see it, so it didn't happen. I don't know what, how much more clear I could be. So what it has to ball? be he has to play it, and then Jayhawk has to be watching him. Which I, if I am at land, and he's he be has watching to over his somehow shoulder, somehow watch it in front of me, and then if that happens, Cloud Nine is going to potentially win the whole thing. Okay, so They're win the whole thing. Again, clip it and ship it again. Make sure Naughty knows to watch Al Pacino before. Um, before. Yeah. Transitional <laughs> transport. Appreciate the two months. Yeah, because you know, the, the tough thing with the wild your wild card explanation is like it's not the same as where we're like no, I think their their play style is just so different. Like <laughs> it all depends on if he runs the Al Pacino gambit. <laughs> don't have PC. Don't the PC have any, Yeah, they can look at YouTube if they want. They can go on any site on those PCs. So can they cool. actually? Yeah. Can they go on twitch.tv? Like, are, are they, is this stream actually, delayed? The, there's this... a clip of Watson from Champs that I didn't include in my, my Furia video, but it's him going, uh, or maybe it's not a clip, maybe it's like him tweeting, but he's like, bro, they don't have the, uh, the what's it called? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Fuse. They don't have the Fuse music pack on the, the game at Champs, and he was so upset. So then he went on YouTube and listened to it. They don't even have, what's it called? They don't even have, uh, they're not even allowed phones up there, but they're allowed to like browse different websites. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess the phone thing would be because people could text you something. To where the website, I mean, maybe they could tweet it to you, but you'd have to at least go log in and maybe that, I don't know. They learn Morse code through the vibrations of text. One text and also means maybe because left, one text maybe the, right. the people behind the scenes are watching the screens the whole time. So they could probably yeah. see if you did something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, obviously, like if they tab out, they're gonna see it. I, I get that. I just, again, thought it was like kind of funny, kind yeah, of funny. If I you sneak know, a, could go to land and just install your cheats. Go, go, go to land and like, install your cheats. 
Admins behind us can't tab out at all. Gotcha. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, John, sure, I will sign a Henny bottle if I do go to LAN. Didn't that? Okay, I'm not reading that, actually. Uh, next team. Uh, I'm going to pick... Um, let's go Let's go North Epshin. Tida and the boys with the Newcastle. What are your thoughts? Newcastle. North Epshin. Hmm. <laughs> Is it a new squad as well, North Epshin? Like Tida and then... Uh, yes. How many is, of them are back? Uh, it's Tida and he brought... Uh, now I'm blanking on their names. He brought back Razy and they added Yuka Predator. Yuka Predator. And he previously had teamed with Razy, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah, Razy was on the initial team and then he and Tida both were off the team around the same time. When they picked up Ling and Light you. So yeah. Oh, where the hell did you find that team timeline thing? How have I never seen that? That is at so the bottom, useful. If you go to the team profile, yeah. How have I never seen that? I just don't scroll far enough. Oh, okay, so that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, they got some but experience together. Sorry, go as ahead. Rui has put in, this is this is a different play style compared to what they did last year. And remember, this this was the team last year that they went crazy in groups and then didn't make it to finals in that one LAN. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the next LAN, they also didn't make it to finals, but it wasn't as crazy of a group's performance. So that team didn't really live up to expectations. They do make one roster change, but now they've kind of shifted the way they play around. Again, trying to fully define our tiers here, right? With like early exit, are we thinking you're, you're leaving losers round one? Could early qual exit to me is bottom 10. Yeah, bottom 10. So losers round one. Whereas then could qual, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking you're um, like could qual. I'm thinking like like you you maybe make it to losers round two essentially, right? Like 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 anything outside of like obviously bottom ten, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I think it's like for me it's kind of like an easy pick for could qual. I'm not sure if they're making finals right now, but um, but I definitely don't think that they're going out bottom ten. I think that they got that in them at least. In scrims, they're currently 15th. 15th. Best day was a third. They also have an 18th. Um, so, you know, they're solid. They're landing at Monument uh, and Zeus. Currently against Omit, they're contesting, which I think, to my knowledge, that one's kind of gone back and forth. But in other groups where LG is there, they're not contesting for Zeus. They're going Pylon. And they're still landing Monument, actually, in all three groups. Yeah, Monument in all three groups, Pylon, Zeus. Monument they're only contested groups, They're only contested Zeus at once in one, and they're contested Monument in two of them, if I'm not mistaken. No, Monument, they're contested for one of them. Okay. That's, teams are, like, it's, there's bound to be contests with how many teams there's going to be. So, like, again, like, I don't think that... That's uh, I don't think that's putting them in a position where they're gonna be dropped out immediately. Um, mm -hmm. like I think that they'll be able to, like, you know, you can have a, a run where you get to at the very minimum losers round two, even if you lose a, an intest entirely on a day, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. yeah, I'm 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 still thinking could qual. Like I'm not thinking yeah. about their early exit. I'm thinking could qual as well. I do think that uh. You know, the, the changes that they've taken, that have taken place for this roster, I think is very much in response to their previous failing. So it's like just somewhat contrasting them to Na'Vi. I don't feel like Na'Vi has completely shifted. I feel like they still largely play the same way to where I feel like NTH is at least trying new things. Um, and I actually didn't even know this, but breath through in the chat of uh, they hired Pulverex's former coach oh, okay, to cool. turn them into a hard zone team. So, mm, so that's gonna, like at the very least we'll, you know, Everyone talks about how they think zone is needed for LAN. I think I disagree, but like everyone, I, I see that conversation come out even from the pro player standpoint sometimes. Well, I do think at least if you're going to play edge on LAN though, you like if you're not an NA team, because I think NA teams historically, yeah. you know, have kind of proven that they're really good at playing edge on LAN. Um, but if you're not an NA team, you got to be like pretty nuts at fighting, dude. You got to be like, like a TYK level fighting team if you're going to go play edge on LAN. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so, yeah, could call for Brad, that. Brad, real quick, Brad, I didn't make this, okay? I wasn't going to make a whole tier list and upload all 40 logos. I found this on the Reddit, and it's from, like, two weeks ago. Um, yeah. Okay, who are you picking? Um, 
I don't know if this is like almost like a cop out, but like I figured like as we were talking about, I was trying to redefine could qual early exit. I was thinking, and this is no offense to the South American teams, but it's just like with the way that like the South American, actually, who are the two South American teams? Because I'm not even too familiar so, off the top of my head because I know like the teams that made it to land last yeah. year, it's not them, right? No. So, we, well, it. one of them is it's Geared, who is the former... Uh, leave no witness roster, LNW. I believe, from Who, last the one land? that made land, the former LNW that made land. Well, there was LNWs that made land. Oh, the sorry, like split two, play two playoffs. Playoff. I was thinking split two playoffs. Leave Where no they? There they are. Um, I could be wrong on them being um, leave no witness. Let me just make sure. I'm pretty sure they were. No, they were the first leave no witness roster. Okay. They were the first Leave No Witness roster. Then they were Glitch Gaming. So they did make it to both lands. Um, but yeah, Zillatch, Panic, Renetricky. So they made it to both lands last year. Um, and then we have the other roster, which is Artin, Azazel, and Vlato. Artin is formerly of Singularity. Their coach is also um, Besk, also from Singularity. Um, but then they have... Uh, Vlato, who was of ATH, and Azazel, who was formerly of NorCal, that made split one playoffs, okay. but didn't make it split two. So they're kind of a hodgepodge of former SA form, uh, yeah, land yeah, teams. Yeah. My thing land, is, yeah. yeah, my thing was just like with the way that the region works now with like the CC, like I, I think even like the, you almost to an extent, not only were like the lower lowest skill, but they're almost, I feel like, out of practice. Like they're not playing like the same quality lobbies that like any of these teams are. And uh, mm -hmm. it's been a long time now for some of these teams since they've been on land, whether they were there or not. Some of them, it's coming up on what feels like, uh, what, what are we looking at, eight months to nine months here? Um, mm -hmm. With I'm looking at Renetricky, like 39th, 33rd at both lands that he went to um, with yeah. Leave No Witness and Glitch. So I think for their team, if we wanted to just try and get them out of the way, I, I do think early exit. That's, I think, who I'd throw up there in early exit. Um, yeah, I'd put them there as well. And, I, I really think that team is a lot of young talent, but I just, mm -hmm. I, I kind of need to see it before I can believe that they're, especially unfortunately with the stuff that's kind of happened in South America, I think that it's, it's somewhat even made their potential yeah. a little bit lower. Yeah. Now, it's, I want to uh, go to the other Chrome extension team, that Jay has is BR Demons. I can't remember the and they've actually the been doing it really well in scrims. I think they're currently I can get you after ninth. Them. No, where are they? They're 11th. They're sitting currently at 11th. BR they Demons. actually, they had a second place day two times. So now, yeah, they were had... shocking me. Like when I was watching that first day, I was like pretty yeah. hyped for them. And I know they had a couple of rough days. And then the next time I really focused on them just happened to be the second the day that they got second again. So it was cool to see that they were doing good. Right. Yeah. Nonetheless. Yeah. I'm actually, they, they're kind of on my early radar. For it works like... on opera. Okay, Dark Jay's Horse. Using Opera not too. like this to go Jay's win the screen, whole thing, but could they like make a run cool. and like have you know a really solid performance and make it to the finals lobby and then even show up there above expectations, relative to the expectations? Yeah, definitely a team that like if we want to maybe talk about wild card, like we can say wild card there. What do you think? Or you think could qual? I was thinking could qual. I feel a little more confident just because of the like Besk and Artin have had yeah, really solid Besk performances in finals lobbies in the past, and both. Azazel and Vlato have land experience, so I think I'd personally put them in good qual. Okay. Okay. I wish she should sue for their name. <laughs> True, but this is not BR Demons. It's BR Demons is in Brazilian Demons. So it's oh, bit... you know, I didn't know yeah, that. Not, I didn't know that. Not Battle Royale Demons, Brazilian Demons. Didn't know yeah. that. Didn't know that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, who you want to pick? Who are we on here? <laughs> Made in Heaven? I'll do Made in Heaven. Uh, the bird. Where, where is their logo? The Third bird, this yeah. one? Yeah, that one, pretty sure is their logo. I can double check, but I'm pretty sure that's their logo. I believe this is all of their first time on land. I could be wrong on that. It's... Oh, they don't even have their logo on. They... The yeah, that's that's theirs. It's, uh, it's their logo. It's their logo. They have not done great in scrim so far. All mm -hmm. single-digit days except for that 11th. Yeah, it is their first time on land. They're uh, yeah. they're a little bit of the Cinderella story coming into this land, where they CC team to, uh, PSQ yep. team to Pro League to LAN. So, kind of a Cinderella story there. But yeah, not doing too great on in scrims right now. And what place did they come in? They came in fourth in Pro League though. That was after their regional yeah. final day. They were a little bit lower down than they played really well in regional finals. I think they got, mm -hmm. yeah, they got third on regional final that bumped them up 
but like nonetheless, still still adds to the uh, to the total. Um, yeah. I don't know. It is another tough one. Uh, like between, I'd go early exit. You think personally. early? Yeah, I think just with the recent performance and like not having land experience, early exit. Um, see, like the thing is, like I wouldn't put him. I don't know. Maybe I just like tax. I'm, honestly, I think I, I, think I'm, I just like I'm tax forgetting on the order. Yeah, I'm forgetting on the order yeah, right that's now, fine. and that's we'll fine. figure that out a little. That's bit what I was later. thinking we'll too. Like if we bump them up or bump them down. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm leaving them in early exit just because yeah first land they're not looking great on scrims. I I don't know. I, I know that some people say oh scrims blah blah blah, but largely it's somewhat of a good indicator. Obviously you got to somewhat factor in ping there, so it's not perfect. Um, but typically teams who do show up in scrims do tend to also be good on land. It's not the exact yeah. placements, but it's it's kind of a general guide, if you will. Um, yeah, and so them less. not doing great in it makes me a little worried for them. So yeah, I would go early exit. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take us to the, another EMEA team. I'm gonna say two R one C. What are your thoughts on two R one C? Two R they're currently contested for Geyser. I know that against Crazy Raccoon, and I don't think that has actually gone the greatest. Then they're also contesting Maiden Heaven for Climatizer in another group um, where Geyser has taken. I don't know. They that's weird. They left it in one group where Crazy Raccoon is in, and then because they're in the same group, but then in another group they're still there. Um, and then they're landing. Okay, World's Edge. Actually, all three groups are landing different POIs: Landslide, Clima, and Geyser. Also, oh, the flash contested for two here. of those. Yeah. And then Stormpoint, they have Jurassic, Jurassic uncontested in two groups, but one of them they're contesting, contesting Riddle. And that's also been largely, I think, 50 50. I'm trying to. They weren't at champs, but was it that they didn't qualify, or was it that they weren't able to compete because of a visa issue? Or anything like that. Um, I think it was couldn't qualify. I think they were at qualify. champs. No, it wasn't Uaxco. No. Uaxco no, no, was. No, no. U- is it a new yeah, team? Uchaco, That's, yeah, or Uchaco. U- I always pronounce his name horribly wrong. They, they didn't qual. You know what it was? They were super close. I'm pretty sure in both split two playoffs to making the finals lobby and LCQ, like Bref said, they placed third. They oh, were okay. very close both times. But yeah, um, they did. They were you in Tropic at split two playoffs. In Tropic. Okay, okay, okay. I remember. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and you chalk us up for Aurora, yeah. The guys are going to be chalked for landing anywhere they're strong in every game. My thought is, do they just leave? Like, I don't know where they would go in this group, but, like, the fact that they're in the other two groups taking completely different POIs than Geyser, I wonder if they just try to leave. Um, they could maybe take Dome, because Na'Vi has double-claimed Dome launch. So... I, I don't know. I, I wonder if they just leave if it's not really going great on Geyser. Yeah, I don't think they're early exit, but I don't think they're finals team. So I, I guess that's kind of just could qual to me. I, where, where, what have they been doing in scrim so far? Yeah, that's a good question. Car one C, a little bit up twenty twenty first. So yeah, just like yeah, right I could see could qual. I could right. see could had qual. a sub day in there, so they're they're missing some points. Because even like when they were at split two playoffs, which was not um, Missy, it was Thorfinn. But like I said, they almost made it to finals. So they've shown up before. Even um, year two, it was Yuchako, um, Hiarka, and then they had, I believe, Chaotic subbing for Oirain. Mm-hmm. They made it to the finals lobby at year two champs. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. My chat was asking when Chaotic was uh, at LAN. I knew he was there, but like I knew he was there as like a sub with his team. So that's when it was year two champs. Nick right. said they play Rev Crypto, but will AFK and Zone on Watson? What? They play <laughs> Rev Crypto like fucking freaks in the land? Are they, do you think like, are they trolling or you think they're like actually going to run Rev Crypto? Are they running Rev Crypto Watson? I will say, oh, in scrims. Yeah, I will yeah. say on one of the contests, I've seen some of their contests where they're running Crypto and I'm like, okay, I don't know how, like how serious they're taking it because Crypto is obviously like not a contest like character at all and in scrims at least you'd not be wanting to be prepared for if you win it you want to just like go win so i don't know scrims could be weird for them how but... do we how do we value then 21st and if like if they're trolling you know what <laughs> wild card wild card yeah we that's true i guess that's... i don't know i don't know i've yeah. seen them make it to a finals lobby i i don't know but they're the trolling right now who knows yeah i don't we'll put them in wild card like in wild card i don't know if they're winning it but like like they could definitely at least surprise us with something yeah, I mean, I don't think Wildcard has to necessarily be winning, but Wildcard yeah, yeah, that's what would I was be to like clear they, they make it to a finals and could do good or they could, you know, do bad. Wildcard wild card applies and... upside. 
actual now that i think about it, they didn't make it to a finals lobby in the past though so do it because wild card i guess does someone imply they could make it to finals and yeah i don't know if i agree that i would put them next to aurora in that category and then it's tough because then could qual also does imply upside and like they could get to land or could get, could get to finals but like i want like i don't know again i don't know if we change like that name of the could qual because like that tier for me is like this is actually i'm dumb i just said they could make finals I literally after saying they made finals in year two i'm dumb yeah, yeah i i think could qual personally what were you saying though about changing the, the i'm name? not i don't think about changing the name it's just like i'm trying to like really focus on the criteria that that is like it's not i don't know if it's 50 50 for me but it's like it's not a bad thing but it's not also like an amazing thing to be in good qual i guess i'm trying to like i'm trying to just nail down like how many good qual teams do i think are being eliminated and uh, how many do i think are getting a final i don't know we'll I figure mean, it out at the end we, we could here's what i'm thinking maybe we add another tier where we go like good finals team bad finals team well it would almost even be like 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 trying to figure out like teams that are going through through winners bracket and teams that are like qualifying through losers round two and like i'm not saying like like those names but those are like those are the distinctions between those two tiers is what i'm thinking right because my thought is if we go good finals and then separate to finals then we have like you know a dsg a legacy a, an lg a fanatic i think these are all good finals teams to where just like finals could be the borderlines like an alliance or a cloud nine or a tyk where we feel more confident in them actually being there but we don't know how well they'll do it's where it could qual we maybe could even change that to like you know something let's, where it's a little i think let's leave it for now because i think we might get okay. like really complicated we'll start switching things let's leave it for now if we really feel okay, at the okay. end then we'll swap it up um who is going here is it me yeah i said to our one c okay um want to talk want to talk complexity sure what are your thoughts complexity is one now i know they like it's a new team the only team the person there that's consistent is mon and he hasn't been able to make it to a finals but they've been looking they've they've surprised a lot of us this year and i think even impressed a lot of people i think wild card though right mm. there i don't okay. know they're one that like because of like pre previous performance like i'm not sure if they go all the way i'm, I'm not sure if they could qual but like even like in like they're kind of like a wild card team for pro league to make it to land so i think that they're uh -huh. continuing that line of thought for me that you know if they come out and they have some good sets and some good performances the same way they had some good days that just absolutely shocked people monsoon with this sentinel just going nuts and uh you know like the the three now with kim and lou in there if like they're playing the top of their game i could see them going all the way to finals um but like then after at the same time it's like if things break down like just in they have have in the past on land they they might not make it again so that's why i'm kind of going with the wild card because i definitely don't think they're an early exit but I don't know what to throw them up in anywhere else. Haven't done great in scrim so far. I know they're contested at uh, Harvester against Fnatic and one teams, I believe. Uh, are they contested on Storm Point? They get Command Center for free in all groups, and Harvester they're contested for two of the groups. Uh, the Fnatic one is dicey. I feel like Fnatic could maybe win that one the where's the other team oh wait, they're being contested by omit now actually omit i think they i think they take that contest that one i think they probably win that one but at the same time i don't know the against the chinese team which where did ntc go what, what group is ntc in with them ntc ended up going to landslide it they didn't feel as strong as I expected them to against NTC because which do we know which logo is NTC's by the way? Or the two Chinese teams? Mm, Hold on. I'm actually not sure. Oh, NTC it's like that. This one, one. Yeah, that was gonna say right there. I'm gonna just skip ahead and put them in there. What's going on, Challenger? No Let offense to the Chinese teams. Here. These What's are going? like Challenger Circuit level Apex Out teams. Just I don't like gonna be honest. You know what I was talking uh, when I was talking about like SA, those are the teams also too that I kinda wanted to bring up. Yeah. The, yeah. Ones that were invited. Yeah. Was it Mon I, I Gold Sentinel? I know early, Burke, so, But back I to know. complex. Do you disagree with those, by the way? Do you no, want to have no I do okay. agree. I agree. Okay. 
they're they're not doing great in scrims, which I know is ping. But once again, I the, the whole Chinese invite thing I think is a little but yeah. Interesting. Sorry, I feel like I'm neglecting uh, on complexity. Chat, I it's hard to I keep up I'd while we're having a conversation. Hope you guys are doing good. Thanks for the sub. But hog. I could understand the, the art man. Appreciate card. you because I could see them maybe not doing great at the same time. I, I feel more confident in finals team like happy, than so not like doing great. Doing awesome blog. But the, the possibility there, I, I could understand. I appreciate the love there. and support over on the YouTube side. Is that oh. how you feel? Sorry, I was muted. Just repeat that right at the end there. I was just... Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I feel more confident in them as a finals team than I do them, like, not making it. But I that, that bottom possibility, that lower possibility, does make me uh, kind of agree with wild card. Yeah. Thoughts? Yeah, no, that's that's exactly what I was kind of saying for yeah. my own thoughts there, right? Like, I don't think that they're an early exit team. And, no. like, I guess we could stick them into could qual, but it's I, just but like... at the same time, I feel like they have higher upside than that. Yeah, yeah, I, I do, I do. I think they have higher upside, but, like, then after there's just, like, there's the part of me there's because, like, Mon hasn't done it before, but it's a new team, like, so much wild card. Like, like I think that they can surprise us for sure. Yeah, like, I'll I'll say this. I... I would not be surprised either scenario of them not making it to finals and losing in like losers round two or even placing top 10 in finals. I could see with, I could see either of those personally for complexity. Mm -hmm. I could be on the copium, but I could see both of those possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I don't know if I'd go top five for Cole, but I could see them sneaking into the top 10. Can actually be like outside of 20 teams because could um, qual. We also do go, think they could uh, not qual. It's like, think of that tier as like, could riddle. qual, could not qual. Thoughts on riddle. Thoughts on riddle. Riddle. Yeah. Hmm. Riddle swapped up some players on their squad too, right? Or are they one of the teams that actually stayed consistent from last year? Like, like, like the TSMs, like the OXGs. Like, did they stay all three, Riddle? Um, Let's see. no, this is, uh, it is this good. is Yukio, still the same, and he adds two new players, which are Melstera, formerly of Fnatic, and nice. Saku, formerly of Pulverex, I believe. Okay. Yes, Pulverex. And it's their first time all playing together on yes. top of that. But they did do really good in the split. Uh, they, to start off in Season 19, they were actually balling out, placing, uh, I think it was three days in a row, second place. Oh wow! So they started off really good, and they kind of cooled off a little bit in the I second half. Say, how did second half look? Oh, two, seven, and then fifteen at least. But like in the season twenty. Oh no, wait, they didn't play many games on season twenty, right? So we no, gotta look so at that, just, right? Here's so what happens? They play four games on uh, on like in the literally I think two weekends or no, yeah, uh, three weekends because they had back third, to back third, days. Third, or yeah, second, 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 third. Then they had another match day on season 19 still yeah, which was yeah, their yeah. fifth match day where they got two and then they have two matches two in season, match 20. Days in season 20 so it's even hard to judge there because like a seven and then 15th in regional final plus scrims haven't done great let's plus see their if regional I can final test. went long didn't it how long did the regional final APAC north go oh no i think uh, it went, it's only 16 well, super 16, short it's four 16, games 16, i think yeah. it's Oh, it was six, yeah, because the rule, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. It, technically, I think it was one and four. Yeah. Um, they're landing Tree and a contest against Furia, and I'm pretty sure they're also landing Jurassic and the contest against Two R One C. The other maps, they're uncontested for those POIs though. All they got three... Tree and, and Jurassic free in two of them, and then the contestant one. Yeah, I think about the fact that like all three of these players have been at lands, and like when they have their full teams there, like they've actually succeeded at them like they've done well mm -hmm. they've got to finals yeah. every single time it looks like like melt sarah has not missed a finals mm -hmm. um fourth ninth eighth tenth and then saku has also not missed a finals so looking like that looking at that and then also too like we we know yukio so like i actually would probably like maybe i will talk about this later but on the upper echelon of could qual or maybe the the like middle like to end of like finals team right i'd put them finals team yeah i think I, they're back in finals team yeah personally uh i mean the, there's the contest that they're having to deal with but once again it's only in two of the groups uh and you know there's at least against furia there is the ping difference i know there was the clip of yukio slamming his desk because he was supposed to get <laughs> yeah. a gun and then didn't get the gun so here's the thing like i, I think i put them finals yeah and also i'd say like they're making winner's bracket and then, like, those contests, like, whittle away once you get towards 
winner's bracket. Because even if uh, the team that they're contesting is there, like maybe they swap, maybe the other team swaps. So it was Meltzer slamming his desk, not Yukio. My fault. Yeah. But so like anything could happen like that they like things could change once they get to winners, right? Like those contests kind of go away. And I think that they can easily get through groups. So I'm happy with the the finals team. Like that's why I was saying upper echelon ball. Yeah. But like, and again, we could switch it after. But yeah, with their previous performance, I like that. What, what do you think is next? What do you got here? People are also saying, by the way, just final point on Riddle, that uh, one of those days, I think it was the two point day that apparently one of their players had an eye injury. Saku apparently had an uh, eye injury, which is tough because if you can't see, like, I mean, that's, what are you going to do? So. We'll, we'll maybe give them some slack for that. But yeah, I actually, I really like Riddle. I think they're a really good team, and I could see them doing really well with this land. Yeah. Um, okay, so we do Riddle. I'm going to say next, did I, wait, did I pick Riddle? Did you pick Riddle? I picked Riddle. I picked Riddle. I picked, did you pick Riddle? I, I, sure picked, I did. Yeah, you picked Riddle. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's, I think, let's go with another team, I think is kind of like on the lower echelon, Omit. I think Omit early exit. They kind of just squeak their way even into land in general, right? Um, sure. Like, yeah, and I, I, you know, hey, I'm happy for them. Absolutely electric. I know if I was them and I did that on the last day, but I think that they were also a PSQ team. Am I wrong by, on that? Uh, yeah, you're wrong. They oh, okay. have Lufka and then Blast and Locky, who were oh, formerly okay. yeah. of uh, Startafight, which had, they almost qualified for the split two playoffs. And then missed because of uh, that little trident glitch, or one of them just died. So mm, understood. They like understood. literally missed it by like a couple points. And if that trident glitch doesn't happen, they probably go to split two playoffs last year. Then they dropped light, I believe, and they add Lufka. And I'm a huge Lufka fan. So yeah, I don't know if I'd personally Lufka's put them yeah. early cool. exit. I think I would go could qual. This could just be me being super biased towards Lufka because I love the guy. <laughs> yeah, like hey, like I I probably threw a ton of bias in half of my picks, so that's fine. I, I I think they're studs, specifically Lufka. Yeah, he's formerly on Ascend, so. <laughs> Guys, Exet and Optic did Them not over make Navi land. is Navi asinine. Land. Is it, though? I mean, like, is it Navi consistently, you know, two times in a row, places yeah. bottom 10? Like, is it? Jay's very passionate about Navi. Lufka's made it to finals then... multiple times. Like, sure, yes. he's not the IGL, but, like, come on. I do just want to say, though, like, I kind of put Navi into Code Qual. Like this, like I kind of thought that Navi could go into Code Qual. Just kind of want to throw that out. <laughs> I will say, Omit's also doing better than them in scrims so far. I mean, it is scrims, but, and they're also dealing with contest. I understand Navi, that. Navi but. has a sub day. Navi has a sub day. Navi going to prove you wrong? I hope they do. I want everyone to know that when I put teams down here, this isn't me hating. Like, I genuinely want Navi to actually prove me wrong. It's but. never heating because the real thing with a tier list is someone's got to be at the bottom. Unfortunately, yeah. it sucks. I'd love for every single person to win and walk away with $500,000, but it's just not possible. Yeah. So. So, anyway. Okay, we go omit. I'm going to say let's go <sighs> Boogie Borders. Thoughts on Boogie Borders? Boogie Borders. They had me impressed throughout PL. I will say, yeah. I was happy with their performance. Um, mm -hmm. Now, like it's 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 like it comes down to like the land thing. Like there are a lot of players that haven't played on land either, correct? Mm -hmm. And so, um, no, both Fussy and Racky have played see. on land, and oh, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm getting confused. Land. I'm getting confused with the, I, for some reason I was getting confused with Wonton Dumpling. Yeah, no, Fussy, Racky, actually, uh, no, yeah, Panna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nonetheless, actually, this is the team I've told you that, like, in time and time in the past, like, in our private convos, that I think that they're the team that kind of are trying to prove themselves of the Aussies that get overshadowed by Moist and Dark Zero. So they're all, like, experienced players. I think they, you know, can make, like, a, a pretty good run there. Again, mm -hmm. I, would I put them up at a finals team, though? Or would I put them in, like, mid could qual? Or like, like I know that's weird, like to say like final. Like I'm thinking lower finals, top could qual, but it's because like those three, Fussy, Rocky, Panna, they're like the guys that subbed out and swapped between every single roster that has ever played with Zero, Waltzy, MT. Like they were called always kind of like that that last guy in or last guy out. Which speaking of sucks, Zero, literally just came in chat said could qual. Yeah, I would agree personally. That's where I'm throwing them, but like I like I could see them because. Fussy and Racky do it before and place top 10. Like, I could see them making a run in a finals lobby, but currently 
I don't feel as confident. So I think could well, that's qual- what I'm like, saying. I at the teams that we yeah. have in could I was just to say looking at the teams we have in could qual like I didn't know if I was putting them against like uh, up ahead of a C nine or Alliance or sure. like at this point we'll figure out the order later yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no but even even like if I were to say like putting them in final team I still don't think like I'm sure. putting them there like despite the order but like I've there, there are three players that got a lot of experience and have played with good teams and definitely can can have what it takes to get to that finals at the very least yeah I agree I agree. Who are you picking next? Oh, yeah. You did Boogie Borders. Okay. I just want to say, chat, I don't hate Furia. People keep saying this. Everybody's asking for we Furia. Can, we, can, oh. we can roll with Furia if you want. We can roll with Furia if you want. Okay. Zero, you don't, Zero doesn't like Alliance could qual. So, like, Zero. That's crazy. Here was the thought. Here was the thought. Is where does Alliance play on Storm Point in a potential bracket stage where TSM and DSG are both in the lobby? Where do they go? They're also not going to get fragged because that's going to be taken, so they have to take just Monument. I don't know. I, I feel very highly on Alliance, just for the record. I think Alliance are studs. If you want to see anybody who was hyping up the unlucky pick, I would be hard-pressed to find someone more than me, because I oh, chat, thank think you this for all Alliance the team Elko, PVT, could be the best Amish, roster they've ever had. There's so many no so far. Yuki, but the double Progence, rollers, Kev, you know, it's a thing. Nay, but it's, it's Green the Mushroom, POI thing that makes me question classic, what's going to Swift, happen. Twin and Paws, so many of you guys tonight. Thank you. Legends, Legends recency bias off one land. Disagree. Don't listen to Zero. It's not like he's a pro player. They're like 400 times better than 07 and Riddle. I will say, actually, I, I'm i pretty sure my power ranks, I put them above 07. We'll revisit it later, though. We'll, we'll come back at the end. What were we about to do? What that was, was that also, actually? again, probably not considering the contests. Like your power rankings? Like, did you consider yeah, yeah, that yeah. there? No, uh, I did not. I was saying, let's roll with Furia now. Okay, Furia, where are you putting them? Furia is a tough one because. And he, here's the question: Are they? Do you think it's Watson or Vax? Like that? How are we rating them off of that? Yeah, that's the thing that I was trying to think of. Like, I think, like if it's like I'm, I'm just trying to think. Like, I I don't know. He hasn't played any like scrims or anything like that. Vax mm-hmm. just left his challengers team to focus yep. on playing with them. That kind of gives me indication that it might be Vax. So mm-hmm. like, I think I would be rating them off their scrim performance and with Vax. So it makes it a little bit tougher, um, but nonetheless, at the very least, could qual. I think I'm throwing him in wild card, and uh, a lot of people are saying it's because of the roster thing. Even if we know it was Watson, they had a like they won a match day and also placed dead last in regionals. Like they have, to me, they are, out of any team could potentially be the most fluctuation of anybody. Like I, I, I don't know, I. I don't think that they're going to place dead last on land for the record. Yeah. Like I do think they should be making it to a finals lobby, but I just don't know where they land on that because of the roster and that weird fluctuation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, none, like wildcard does make sense. It does for them, especially yeah. like in you're saying outside the roster situation, um, looking at their just performance. But I think the roster situation adds to that in general. Like the only experience we yeah. have seeing this trio play is in scrims. Like we've never seen them right. play in a in a pro league environment, right? And they're good players, but at the same time, last time Vax was at LAN, he did unfortunately finish dead last. Madness hasn't been to a LAN, and Keon, Keon played pretty good at his last LAN, but like, you know, there's just a lot there that you can't even look at the history of the performance of the, the individual players. Yeah. Okay, let's go uh, Let's go, Team Burger. I just want to point it out, though, I definitely think you're putting them wildcard because you, you hate Furia. No, what, bro? I love Aurora, <laughs> and I put them in a wild card. Like, what are we talking about? Notified as soon as your perfect listing becomes available. I do not hate Fury. I want the record to be shown yes. on this stream. I do not. Is, is that ads think. coming through you or Cheers. through me? Can you hear ads Good right job, now? Good job, everybody. Apartments.com. Do you oh, hear ads? I had an ad pop up on like Liquipedia, and <laughs> anyways, so that's it's it's me. It's me. It was my side of things. By the way, shout out Jumba. He is streaming live right now. Go drop a follow. Appreciate you guys. And and, and likewise, likewise on my end of things. No, now they're gaslighting me on putting Furia on the right side of wildcard. This is insane. <laughs> uh, okay, Team Burger now signed to Virtuous Pro. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I mean... Reminder sh- chat, this is an outdated logo. They did just get signed to VP today. I mean, Sharky's got a pretty good history on LAN, you know. He does? Got- does he do that? Pricey with- does as well. Yeah. Pricey does as well. Does does he do that without zero though? You know? What's what's Sharky's average placement on land? 
It's first, first, and then like 13th, 13th and then first. Oh, no, sorry. You know, he wasn't with the last team. What am I saying? Yeah, so it was first, 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 13th. Like... First, first, 13th. It was just the three. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm, that's, that's, I don't know. That's some pretty good experience, but obviously it's like the whole Dark Zero squad. It's not just the individual, right? right. Um, Team Burger. Where do you think they're going? I, am I am I wrong? Do I feel like I've kind of like given the first like placement and then like we go to bounce oh, to you? Sorry, my fault. My fault. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just thinking here. That's I might why. Have that by default. Scrims, <laughs> they haven't been great. Where are they landing? Is this updated to say VP? It is. Yeah, it is. They're landing Overlook in Dust. all three groups, contested for one of them against Cloud9. Then that's a, down that's a tough contest against two roller players, and they only have one. Then down beast, Cenote Cave, down beast. Down beast, they're contesting Cloud9 as well. And then Cenote, they're contesting NTC. I think they probably win the Cenote contest. What uh, comp but are the Cloud9 one know? is. Uh, does anybody know off the top of your head what comps Virtuous Pro? I'm assuming just Blood Bank Caustic. I could be wrong on that. Okay. I was Personally, I'd put them could qual. I feel like we need another tier in the middle here because yeah, we're I just getting so many teams. No, I, I expected to, like, like most it. teams because like again, like could qual is like could qual is almost literally like that point in like I said, like losers round two, like the ten teams from like, maybe go to losers round two, but at the same time, like it's also not that. Like I don't know, it's tough. Like I feel stronger about them than some of these could qual teams, but. I don't know. I'm gonna make another tier, dude. Okay, I'm make okay. another tier. Let's do it, and then we're gonna have to organize. But let's do it. Hold on. Um, we'll just make this. Having should qual and could qual is not bad. From zero. Should qual. Yeah, should okay. qual and then could qual, which that I do like. Like if we throw teams like Alliance C9 in there. Yeah. Oh, already move the E8 down. <laughs> Well, I mean, EA should no, I know, qual, but I don't know if I'd put them on this this tier. Mm, yeah, like I'd... that's like the because the, the difference is with those finals teams is we're thinking them as like we were saying like those are like the finals teams that are like the good finals teams that we're even confident could win it, and not the yeah. God Slayers, which are like the confident confident teams we think could win it. But then after I even saw some some takes in the chat saying that we should uh if we if we have a God Slayer, someone said it should only be moist. <laughs> I don't agree. I think with that I take. think that's I think that's too hot of a take. Like I think to say only one team out of four. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with the take that only one team. Yeah. What? Do, okay, I moved around some stuff. What do we think with this current? Any any strong feelings about anything that's standing out here? Just looking at it. No, this is I think exactly how I would have done it. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly okay. how I would have done it. And, and honestly, it does help a lot of my qualms. Like half the time when I'm saying, oh, I'd put these people right between, or these teams right between. And so, design came back and he's upset that we moved them down, <laughs> him and Legacy from, from God Slayers. <laughs> he's just been lurking the whole time. Heard, Listen, we added we're, a new, we're try- heard we added a new tier and needed to come back. <laughs> we're trying to make the tiers a little more exclusive here, dude. Listen, you guys placed fourth, Legends placed third. Like, Phony always makes it to match point, you know? Anyway, um, okay. So I put Team Burger and Should Qual. We'll figure out the order later of all these kind of teams. I like Should Qual. Um, who you got? Who you picking next? Yeah, we're getting down to the teams that like it's 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 out of my realm of knowledge. Just go with OXG, just cause. Okay. OXG. I think we'll I think they should be Should Qual. Yeah, Should Qual is pretty pretty standard for them. I don't even know if there's much to say there. The Should Qual yeah. category I think might make things really easy. <laughs> should Qual is getting a little fat. Do we think any of these Should Qual teams are Could Qual? Could like qual. they could, but you know, we don't feel as strongly because I feel like there's too many teams here. Well, let's see how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19. We got 19 in the Should Qual and above. Design, so. design. The order of a lot of these is not we're figuring that out after. We're figuring out the order after. Yeah. The um, yeah, the should qual like we got nineteen above should qual, so, which means yeah. like that like then the could qual category kind of, well again should I've, qual does imply just like somewhat of a downside where maybe one of these teams don't. So here's don't my know. thoughts: people might get upset at this. You think Riddle O Seven? Okay, if I if I go back to thinking about what we were saying, I think I had like Riddle towards like the end, and then you were saying how in love you are with them and. <laughs> Everything like he that. said, LG <laughs> hasn't replaced Slayer yet, bud. They're kind of high. That's crazy. 
That's crazy. Poor Slayer, man. I, but yeah, I, I'm putting Burger, Riddle, 07 down in the could qual range. Mm. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to some of these. I wonder if Burger Qual- might still be should qual, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll revisit. But that's that's where I'm going to kind of put him there. Um, okay, even, next. Even, yeah, like... Yeah, it's I'm going we'll to say come back. Crazy Raccoon. Thoughts? Thoughts? Not much. Didn't pay attention, what, too much attention to them this year. The, the, they the, didn't have the greatest of years. Let me pull up the... Uh, they, they started off solid, and then we're just kind of mid all the way through until the regional finals where they end up placing second. It was Gumbardi. So it was... It was an up and down year. Yeah. Yeah, this is formerly Gambare El Tucson. But is the same Gambare that played at at Okay, like everybody's like OXG bias. What what is bias to say that a team who's made back to back finals lobby should qual should qual to a finals lobby? What? How is that biased? What? <laughs> Jay has told me repeatedly to, uh, like on different occasions that uh, Vane is one of his favorite players, so there is bias there. Someone who leaks comes in. <laughs> OXG is early exit TBH. True, true. <laughs> Over 07? What do you mean? 07 has... They're, they're a completely new roster yeah, versus OXG. Roster. the same roster that made it to back-to-back finals. Like, I, I don't feel like the logic is, is consistent here. Even 07 was somewhat up and down throughout their split, just like OXG, so... You know, and that's 07 and EMEA versus OXG over in NA. Come and on, and I on. will I will say I I I we've talked that we might reorganize. He has again. missed finals. He missed it with Panders as a sub. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Get passionate about it. I like it. I was just simply saying that I do like like it's not so much that they're ahead of OXG, but I do see that maybe 07 Burger could be in the should qual category. We're just trying to make this a very even list. We're trying to make this easy. Yeah, we'll, we'll move on. None we'll of us are ever going to all agree. None of us are ever all going to agree. Yeah. And could qual means they still could go to the finals. Yes. Splinter, appreciate the tier one. Also, JNM, appreciate the tier one. Seven minutes ago, missed that one. I was just trying to look. Okay. Like, with this Gambari team, though, like, did, uh, yeah, did, is it the them. same three players? Is it the same three players that played at previous lands? Yes. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same roster all of last year. I could okay. be wrong. Because, like, Thing was just a little bit confusing. Oh, okay, sorry. It's Crazy Raccoon moved certain players to streamers, yeah, and then this yeah. is the Gambati team got picked up. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Like, I mean, they've uh, they've done it before of getting to uh, finals lobbies. They didn't do it at champs, but or did they no. do it at champs? Yeah, they didn't do it at champs, but they'd done it, I believe, in split one and two. Um, yeah, I'd say could Scrim. scrims like how they look. They've had a single double digit day at ten yeah. points. Everything twenty fourth pretty overall. bad. Yeah. Could qual. I'd put them could qual. Crazy Raccoon, they're landing Geyser, Geyser, Geyser. All three groups contested against 2RC and one of them. And then Command, Command, Devastated Coast, uncontested in those. Well, those are some Cheeks POIs, going to be honest. Yeah. Mm. But I, you... I don't see early exit being... I don't feel like they're that category, so I think could qual. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And early exit is just such a hard one like to... Uh throw a lot of teams in. I see more teams having, like, this might be weird, but I see more teams with an upside potential than a downside potential. Sure. No, I agree. I mean, that's that's probably the one flaw in me is that I I see so many of these teams, and I'm like, but what if they put it all together, you know? Yeah. So, and yeah. that probably is the worst thing. Maybe we're, maybe we're a little bit too positive. The two of us don't have it in us to just call team shit. True. Um, um, okay. Who are you picking? I was thinking here... Back. I was thinking, want to go with Passion UA, the okay, flame one. Sure. Passion Hopefully, UA. by the way, everybody, let's pray that they can get their visas. I think one of them does, and the other two don't. I don't know what combo of the two that don't, but yeah, I believe they're actually traveling this week to go get visas. Let's pray, especially for Max Strafe, who has missed so many lands that he called for. Let's pray that they can get there. Yeah. Yeah, that's, but we're rating them, assuming they're there. Obviously, assuming they're there, I think it's yeah. another could qual team. Like we could go through like their stats, like we have in the, as we have been. Like how have they been doing scrims these past couple of weeks here? Where are they playing? Scrims, they are not doing great. Oh God, yeah, they have a couple DNPs. They do have a third, um, and then just kind of mediocre. But they also have that dead last. Were they contested? Is the question. I think they were. I'm pretty sure they're contesting at barometer uh was it pua yeah 
They're landing staging, staging, and countdown, uncontested, on World's Edge completely. And then they're landing wall, barometer, barometer, and barometer. They're contested against heroes in both Apex South team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got a, yeah a third like three DMPs like they have a couple of contests. Again, I look at that as like group stages. Like, I wonder if that gets in there. They're thirtieth right now, but like three D- DMPs, three DMPs. We got to factor in there. All I'm saying is that this is going to age poorly. What? What's going to age poorly? OXG being should qual. Or are you on uh, the someone who leaks vein where you're like, yo, let's put OXG early exit down here. <laughs> when OXG win land, yeah. I mean, listen, if has any it, team that's not in this like top group right here wins, then yeah. Has any tier list ever aged well? Someone show me a tier list that's aged well. I don't think there is one. Uh, Aiden saying God Slayers for sure. Yeah, oh, but then you guys please. decided to go play 16th at Champs when everybody <laughs> was hyping you up, bro. <laughs> if you guys placed top five there, then yeah, I would have been putting you up there. But y'all decided to to ruin it and go play 16, including Jayhawk on stage gassing them. Yeah, up for the day they win. I made a whole video about you guys. They showed on stage, like oh, on the. Podcast. I wasn't even talking about that. I was talking about the whole like off pick to say OXG is gonna win this oh, round I, hey, on the on the desk, and he Shiny ends up moment. being right. Shiny moment of my career is me picking them to win that group stage and them actually doing it. Shining yeah. moment. All right. I'm yeah. the one time they feature me on the desk and I just nail the pick. Spoiler or some lore on that pick, by the way. I was actually going to pick Optic, who I believe placed second or third. They were top three. And then I saw that like everybody picked, picked Optic, Optic and I was like, that's kind of boring. I'm going to pick Oxygen because they're like another team I believe in that's going to pop off here. And there you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's. That's the story. Oh, wait, hold on. Rui said, wait, that's on you. And actually, the more that I think about it, every time I make a video about a team, they do bad. No, 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 no. Don't and I let... made two. J, 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 J. Don't, don't say that publicly when there's a lot of people here. They're gonna, I made it. These EZ pro players, video and they don't even J, make J, finals J. at champs. They're like... not going to give us interviews anymore, man. These pro players <laughs> aren't going to give us interviews if they realize Listen. we're the reasons why. Like, Kimchi's already been way ahead. He told me don't make a video about us like months ago. So. <laughs> like, yeah, like I'm um, bro, like I am just you can look at when I release my videos and then the performance of each team the next land, and it's not pretty. So like just <laughs> <laughs> um okay, where are we putting passion away? Could qual is that where Could you kind of land? I on? think uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like cause again, I don't know. I look at teams with more upside. I don't think they're early exit. If we're if they're talking about like their full squad, I think if they go in with a sub, no max strafe, especially, then yeah, I might have them in like that early exit area. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say MDY White. Another APAC South team, uh, which shout out to the Visa gods once again, APAC South. B Rad put it in earlier. Not all the APAC South teams have secured their visas. Only the Australians have. So let's hope that they can get theirs as well. Uh, but MDYY, they have made it to a finals lobby before. They didn't do that great in it. Uh, and then the other land, I don't think they had made it to finals uh, that they competed at. I have so many freaking tabs here. Hold on. Yeah, I got a lot of tabs here. Yeah, I got I'm to trying stuff. to find my stuff here. And then fourth. Now our could qual tab is getting pretty big. Um, yeah, but at this point we're at the we're at the end, so let's sense, let's just yeah. figure it out. Uh, they placed thirty second, eighteenth, and let's check the uh, the performance in the cons where we actually start going crazy here. Yeah, I they think are landing monument all three groups. They got a double con in second. North Aption, which that could be a frag angle where they land frag, and I don't know how they're playing the con, but like you land frag and then see if you actually fight for it. Ooh, wait, no, NDY is landing frag in that group, so could be a dome angle. We'll see if they if they end up leaving it. Uh, and then they're landing Stormcatcher. All three groups contested also in two of them. Or sorry, Monument, they only contested one. Stormcatcher, they're contested in two. One against Legend, one against How. Yes, that's a lot of contests. Also, too, I think back... Hold on, JNM with breaking news. This might be not updated. In this group where they're contesting Monument, they might actually be contesting a Landslide okay. against... Who's Landslide? Legend as well. Oh, How Con Landslide, oh, never mind. Dog. Dude, Unless, maybe. Yeah, JNM, maybe is this soon. like super recent? Is this like today or yesterday? Open, man. They haven't called me or anything here. yet. 
What else we got here? Former Black Hand. Yeah, a Legend of the Green Team at the top is the former Black Hand. Appreciate the you, Cal. Legend and everything. Man. Penny Yee popping in, in the chat. Do you think you can make a the man himself, the classic, the man who you know, I have classic. beef with? Apparently, it's probably not something I have the biggest I still get experience asked on Stitch, uh, unfortunately. Uh, no, and but yeah, okay. Apparently, they are I contesting. I am uh, not the authority to talk about that. I, I talk about like the storylines so, of from ALGS and, and stuff like that. You would need like a coach or a pro to touch on that. Jumba, you here? Oh. Hello. Yeah, sorry, I was again just oh, talking to chat. I'm muted while you were doing your thing. Sorry, no, you're you, good. what did I miss? What did I miss? What did you said there at the end? Uh, they they are contesting against uh, Legends at Landslide and at Stormcatcher. Oh wow, double contest, eh? Um, yeah. Still, I think, and I could be wrong, but I think at their previous lands they contested a lot, which is a, a factor into what made them do poorly. Um, we saw the thirtieth yeah. there. Um, I just, I don't know why. I just remember during watch parties and just watching through everything. I feel like I was always seeing MDY White contesting someone. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I kind of teeter actually almost even between like that early exit could qual phase. Um, I'm thinking early exit. Yeah. Personally, a lot of contests in groups like I 18th believe. in finals too. Like they made it, but like, that... but I think the way they made it also was like legends all that kind of stuff like you know going through winners so they had certain pois that were you know uncon which i guess could happen again now that i think about it so um i'd say maybe could qual actually i don't i don't think they're in early exit territory like like yeah like again if we started ranking on like pictures of where we're placing them like maybe i'd put them at the upper echelon of early exit but at the bottom it could qual like you know yeah but. i mean making making it to a finals lobby before at, at the most recent land, too, I feel like it's a little hard to discount that, even and, with the contest. And and I guess thirty seconds is not. No, it is. It's bottom ten. <laughs> I was like, that's it's bottom not ten, a, but it's like ten. narrowly. Like they yeah. they almost made it to the next lobby. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. okay, cool. Um, um I would I think B. Yeah, you're. Damn, pick. I can't even remember half these uh, logos. Kinetrope, heroes. How? How? I can't remember these two off the top of my head. Um, is... Yoko Yari. And then the other one is Serenity, Apex out. Team Yoko Yari, Yari. Apex North. Who Yoko Yari just got signed, right? Who they got picked up by? Did Yo yeah? Did Yoko get signed, chat? I thought I thought I saw something like that get picked up today. Is this outdated? I don't know. Of course, it's outdated. Not announced. Okay, so they've not tweeted, announced. but they oh, announced. okay, they tweeted, just not announced. Well, like gas for them getting picked up. Let's uh, let's roll yeah. with How, because How is kind of okay. like a. Almost like a, a very shocking sleeper pick throw even during Pro League. And they've been killing it right now. Yeah. I know Wig's been hyping up how a lot. Yeah, that's where I hear um, a lot about them coming from. They place fifth in APAC North in scrim so far. Currently tied for 19th with Navi. They do have some downside with some one and two point days. Uh, but I believe these are con days because I know they're contesting against uh, Legends at Stormcatcher in at least one group. And you know what I haven't really paid attention to? I feel like a lot of players during these international scrims, at least it happened right before champs, especially, everyone was just kind of like doing their contest and then not really playing the game. Yeah. Yeah. But when they have been able to actually play, I've I've honestly kind of been impressed with them in, they, in certain they have days. Like a I don't know. Place day here. Yeah, and I don't know if it's just AD. because of the limited amount that I've actually been able to watch, but I did watch that fourth place day. Um Look up, bring up the uh, contest uh, thing though, and then like, what's yeah. what's group AD? Where are they? Group AD. Group AD. They're contesting. They're actually Trump contested against MDY, yeah. and then they're contesting landslide against NTC. I think so, they win the NTC contest, and they got a fourth place on double contest that day. Was like one of the teams not playing. I don't know if MDY had at that point maybe decided to contest them. I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. They might have actually. I think uh, they maybe they probably three would them. Now that I think about it, I think they three would them that day. Yeah. MDY White came la or like got a one pointer that day. So yeah. I'm thinking good qual. I mean, they've been impressive, and I know that we have a ton of teams in here, and we'll we'll move them around. But mm -hmm. I do. Agree I, with I don't that. know. I, I've I've been impressed in the limited amount I have seen of them. Reminder, I oh they have no land experience. Ooh, yeah, I was gonna say. The, I was gonna say I don't think they have land experience. Um, I still maybe do see them as could qual maybe towards the end but like with our could qual category getting big this might be where at the end we come back and we re-look re at like burger 07 riddle um if we're worried about that but i don't know a could qual okay i guess we're talking finals though 
Remember this? Okay, okay, remember a chat though with like this could qual. There's more. So should qual. There's more upside. Could qual. There's more da- downside. So we're th- we're thinking they could potentially get the finals. But we're, if we're putting them in could qual, we're leaning more to them getting eliminated losers bracket round two. That's what that that tier means, right? Am I wrong there with saying that? No, I agree. I think could qual is definitely like you could, but it's it's you're, an uphill you're, battle. To where should is like it's an expectation. You should yeah. be there, um, based on the talent you have. Uh, but there's definitely a possibility you could miss it. Yeah. And the finals team, like these are the kind of teams that I think should be guaranteed. Like if they're missing finals, I'd generally be shocked. Yeah, like guaranteed. And then like I also think they should be hitting match point like if the game goes long enough. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I, I think how could be could qual, but then this makes me reassess. Like we're, the... we're throwing Navi and Wonton Dumpling down there. No, Navi, I'm still... Yeah, you're still... There, you're but still Wonton, I'm wondering, do we move them to wild card because... I mean, if, if we're putting how on could qual, I feel like that's valid because the reason we had them in early exit is the zero experience. Yeah. Well, it was also partially the cons too. The cons thing yeah. is the part that really bugs me. But then but the like reason... how is too, right? How, yeah, how doesn't have as many, but they are conning a lot. I heard Gugu didn't get a visa. Yeah, this is for this is assuming these teams obviously make it because if the, if they're subs, then everything gets completely screwed. But Let's hope Gugu does, because B-Rad actually came in earlier and said that all the non-Australians currently don't have them. Are you saying, though, you heard like Gugu got officially denied, like he didn't get one entirely, or he's still in the process? Because that, that changes things. Because if he's not going to be there, then uh, I'm feeling more confident about the early exit. We'll, wait on the we'll, we'll put him in wild card. We'll put him in wild card. Yeah. Um... But the, the cons are the part that throws me off because, like, sure, they're contesting Legends, but I don't think that Leds, Legends is as big of a deal in contesting against TSM and Legacy. That's why I was so strong about the Wonton mm-hmm, thing because mm-hmm. if they're not going to leave that, that just that feels like a recipe for disaster. But yeah, there the could difference be the, is, the loser's round two angle, you know? Yeah, the difference for me is, like, okay, Legends may not be, like, as big as a threat as those other teams for contests, if that's what you're saying, like, in terms of contesting teams. But then, like, look yeah. at the POIs they're contesting for, like... Again, I think Stormcatcher is a pretty big POI. And not only that, like the contest seems to take 10 minutes that like you get thirded. So you might win the contest, but you might die 18th or 19th. So they haven't tried contest yet. I think they're trying on normal playing. Yeah, the Wonton hasn't done it yet, but here's my deal. I'm just going to be real. I don't see TSM or Legacy actually losing to them. I could be wrong. I could be wrong and I'm not familiar with their game. I just don't see it happening. These are teams that have contested the best of the best in NA for years. I just don't see it happening. Yeah. Like, even in your chat, in Opportunity Agrees, like, Elrod pretty much always third party that, and that's the thing. Like, yeah. Elrod, like, has been third partying those Stormcatcher contests consistently because they just take so long. There's always a stalemate of the team that's sitting on the roof, the team that's in the building. So, you know, it's it's not the same, maybe if you're if you're trying to say, like, uh, contesting ability teams, but the POIs are ass. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's go to the next team. Let's go Kinotrope. At this point, let's just go in order. Let's get Kinotrope. APAC North team, uh, where have they been doing in scrims? 22nd, so kind of like, kind of good. Second nah. place day, though, recently. Uh, oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong team. I'm dumb. 23rd. They did yeah. have the second place day. So, yeah, kind of iffy. Like, they have the bad days, the two and one point day. They also have a did not play. Uh, but then they have some solid days, including the second. Um, in APAC North, where did they finish? They were That's third. Yeah. Third. This is some of the former uh, Riddle Boys, Mia K, One Tappy, and uh, and Four Rufa. So, you know, they have been to land before. They do have the experience. I don't believe any of them made it to a finals lobby. I just need to look what you have, though. I got so uh, No finals for One Tappy. No but two playoffs. No Mia K did make it. They placed 18th. It's pronounced A Rufa. Ah, A Rufa. I've called them four Rufa for <laughs> literally a year. Two, two finals, finals not, not good, good though. though. Yeah, 18th. So I mean, feels like it could qual angle. Like, sure, they have the potential, they have the opportunity, but I don't know. Yeah. It's between that and early exit to me. I, I would say could qual though, because I do think the fact that they were like really good in APAC North, they were better than some of these teams that we have in could qual, you know? 
That is, yeah, that's the thing. I'm trying to like look at the teams that we got there. I'm like, because even like, oh yeah, no, hold on. They're definitely they're definitely could qual because we did the same thing with MDY where it's like they've made it to finals, so they have to be. And then like even like North Epson, like have any of them made it to finals? I don't think so. So they're definitely they're definitely could qual. They're definitely could qual. Okay, throwing them there. All right, heroes. This was heroes. Yeah. Oh wait, not heroes. Uh, oh, who is yes. this? Serenity. I is skipped this team. Serenity. No, this is. Uh, I don't know the logos at this point. Heroes is the Yoko team Yari. After. I forgot. Yoko, Yoko Yari, who got Yari signed, just got Yoko. signed yeah. today. Yoko Yari, like I, they had like a. They've been contesting. Well, have they not in scrims at the very least? I feel like I've been seeing them win contests. Yeah, they're wrong. contesting TSM, and they actually two won them the yeah, other day. Yeah, they two won them the other day. So, mind you, actually, if I'm thinking that contest, if it, the Yoko Yari, that's the siphon one, correct? No, they were contesting no, okay, Lightning Rod. Okay, then I'm completely off yeah. the charts here. They're contesting Aurora for Climatizer, which is a pretty heavy due to contest. They're contesting SSG for Climat. Ooh, they're contesting SSG for Climatizer. And then they're contesting Omit for Climatizer. Oh they're saying Climatizer, all three groups contested in all three, including the Aurora and SSG ones. Um, then, where are they? Lightning Rod against TSM and Alliance. They're contesting literally every single group. Yeah, that's... If we're talking now group stages and such like that, I've been like saying, ah, they'll make it through group stages for most of these teams. That's a team that like might find themselves in uh losers bracket round one. Yeah. I'm thinking early exit. That that that's definitely a uh, that's it, a if they don't, battle. At, at this point, if they haven't left any of the contests, like I can understand if you are staying against like Omit, but what leaving it's a triple roller SSG, right? <laughs> yeah. Or staying against Do you even I guess Alliance think it's a nice leaving against list? DSM. Like I can understand some of those, but even then I'd probably leave Alliance. But at the same time, this this definitely feels like don't do well in groups because of cons. Go to losers bracket and see what happens. That that's what that feels that's, like. And that feels I, like the risk of early exit. Was it who was it that actually did that? That said, like, we wanted to get to losers bracket that and was, go for uh, a, kick. So, that yeah, kick, kick. a losers bracket run. <laughs> Yeah, they were like they were angling, which I mean, the strategy I guess is somewhat sound because Yoko in losers bracket round two should have, have all their POIs free. Assuming none of those teams that they're contesting, like an omit or an alliance or anybody, <laughs> falls to that bracket, they should be having those POIs for free. So yeah, that you know, was maybe like, it doesn't work. There's no way you think yeah, playing yeah. an extra day is a good idea. <laughs> nah, where we've I'm not we've been talking, we we've been talking about um. Like with the draft, like this was the the closest thing we got to strategic tanking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, heroes. Heroes. Um, heroes. They heroes, have heroes, not done great in scrims. Lots of do they not plays. They have three DN pleas though. Three DNPs. Three um, DNPs. So they've only played a couple days. They finished. They were the last, last place, place team, team to sneak in for APAC South, and I know they're contesting. At least one. What is their abbreviation? H R E or H E R? H R Z maybe? Yeah. Okay. They're landing barometer in two groups and they're contested for both against Passion UA. But then also Wait. I don't think and any then... of them have land experience, do they? Champ yeah. And then they're contesting Survey Epi against Kinotrope. And that one's been somewhat back and forth. And then they're contesting, or they're not contesting in the other groups. I'm so the two go groups where they're contesting Storm Point, they're not contesting World's Edge, and then the vice versa on the opposite group. I'm going to go so early. Never yeah, okay, sorry to cut you off twice. So there's a delay on Discord, okay, so I don't mean to do that. Yeah, it's like there's like a pause no, no. sometimes. I cut, I, in my end, I cut you off. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, that's what I'm saying. There's a slight delay sometimes, and I think you're done talking, and then I... But I'm going, I think, early exit. Looking here, even yeah. their players, like only two of them have been to one land each and both like 28, 30 seconds. So, yeah, I think early exit for them. Yeah, I agree. Jane, I'm saying that didn't they make land and not get visa? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. That could be a, a factor. I'm not sure. Then, oh, Tempo's talking about. So, Kick tried. Meat Lovers tried it. Yeah, all like the strategic tanking. Wanted to take a stance of POI, but at some point, mostly teams. Yeah, no, I don't think it works. Like, I don't see a world like in an Apex land where not trying to go through winner's bracket. Um, yeah. Isn't the... Also, too, I always think, and maybe this is just, like, something in me, I don't think you should anyway be trying to play to lose, right? Like, I feel like if you're going to a land, 
you should always be focused on doing everything with the upside of like trying to win. Even if you think like we're putting these teams down here at early exit, if you're at the land, you should be going there with the confidence that I could fucking win this thing. Right. I don't think you should ever be going in there like, ah, we're going to be an early. Like we're doing this because we're like not players. But even if I am like some player that just snuck my way into land, I'm like, I can take this whole thing. I just need my shot. Right. So like, sure. that's why I don't think you should ever be playing for losers bracket. But here's the thing is that like, it's like, okay, from, from the kick angle, do you think that if you go to worse POIs, you have a good chance of qualling? Cause let's say you don't qual, then you don't have that sort of natural claim to those top tier POIs. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, if you do, like, if you do your strategy because, of going and, through a loser's bracket run and you somehow get the finals, what do you do? Like, you gotta, like, if you're, if you're going to flex drop, then learn to flex drop and do it the whole land and, and make it sure, work. If you're, true. if you're going to, if you're going to like want your POIs and the only way you could get to finals is by having those POIs and then you get to finals and you don't have them anymore. You're just accepting what a 19th or 20th. Like I just, I, I don't, I don't really like that uh, idea. And like. We've seen like uh, Dark Zero win from flex dropping in a time where they were obviously unrated, underrated because no one really knew of them. Um, coming yeah, they, from Apex they South, yeah, DZ yet, yeah, they weren't you know? the DZ yet, but like nonetheless, no one was expecting them to win with a sub, and they did it right. So you never know who could come out here and win. We could all think that you're going to be like a bottom tier team, and you could pull something out, um, playing like offhand strategies that no one's ever thinking. You, you got to figure that out. I don't think you should be trying to work like. You shouldn't be worried about like what like TSM taking your POI. Like just figure something else out, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's it feels like a lose lose angle because I mean what Rui just said. Honestly, realistically, whether they leave or stay, if they're a bad team, they're probably not going to make it anyway. Like it's just how it goes. Yeah, I so. I I get that. I just don't think trying to get yourself into losers bracket and like an opportunity to be relegated is a better idea than doing well, everything in your power to get to winners. That was only the kick example. They admitted that was yeah. the case. Where with Yoko, this could be a scenario where they truly believe they can. Win. Oh yeah, no, like three no. OTSM one day. I'm not so. denying that. I'm saying for like uh, just because I know like Tempo was like yeah, thrown yeah, out yeah. there that a couple of people have tried it and then got regulated in the past, or relegated in the right. past, and yeah, yeah. All right, let's, let's last get this final one team, here. Serenity. Last one, Serenity. The kick thing is hard cap. I will say it did some maybe feel like copium to try and be like you know. That's that's our strat. We did it intentionally, but <laughs> yeah. you know, it, it was some. It was funny to watch, though. It was funny to watch. Yeah. So we got Yugi, Jesco, and Legacy here. Yeah. On this squad, we've seen Yugi played with Black Hand at that split two playoffs. So we know that yep. where they didn't do too great, but again, contested landslide. I wonder how much you I actually. I did ask Straven Flame what he thought of that, and so they came nineteenth uh -huh. actually, and I think he said like. He, I don't know. I don't know how you would do these calculations, but he said like he did some calculations that he still thinks they would have ended like thirteenth if they didn't have the contest. Interesting. I'm just let's I'll be just honest. Something I threw out there. I don't know how you could ever think like that. What if for hypothetical or where you get those numbers from? I don't really know much about Serenity apart from Bugie. Like, yeah, I, <laughs> that's I why I was like trying to look some things here. And again, I only really know from Bugie. They have Jesco and Legacy. I'm not even too familiar with them at all. Have they? It doesn't look like they've played at any LAN. This was also Jesky, Jesko, sorry. Jesko's first Pro League split, too. Never played in that before. And then Legacy. He's at yeah, the very least played Pro League, but like finished like low tier, like 17. Bereft, I feel like with the wild card, though, it like implies that I think that there's upside there. To where with Serenity, I just don't know. So, like, I don't know, is there upside there? I'm not familiar with their game like that. Serenity played duo on their first Pro League day, so keep that in mind when you look at their Pro League placement. Where did they place? Partners.com uh, is now in Canada. And with instant alerts, get notified. They were sixth. So, I mean, they placed better than Boogie Borders. My bad, chat. I don't know where those ads keep popping up. Could qual, def not early. People think could qual, def not early? Oh, that's... The oh, zero, zero said. Place 18th. Yeah. It's tough because I don't, I don't, I don't know much. I actually have not paid too much attention to them. I don't know them outside of uh, Bugi. I see they don't have a ton of experience. They want a day. That's good to see. I think, uh, I guess, just could qual. I don't know. We if could take. We could take. It, that's what I'm saying. We could take I, the opinions I've of the seen, chat. 
I've seen Bugi actually make it to a finals lobby before. So at least like the one player I know about, he's made it. They're all hyping up Legacy in the chat. Yeah, I B-Rad see that. said Legacy is the most underrated MNK player in the world. So I also we'll go could. Yeah, not just to to forfeit to Zero's opinion, but I also do like tell everyone and anyone. I'm like, yeah, I don't think anyone watches more vods of every random player out there than this guy. So I mean, like, I mean, he is from Apex <laughs> South, so he he would know. But uh, that also could be bias. I don't know. Yeah, true. Okay. For his region. Okay. Could call, now, could call though. We've like already talked about like having like some we've, downside there. At least at the very least, I've seen Bugie do it. So yeah. I'm putting him a good call. I see you already moved 07 Burger up. Okay. Yeah, I moved him up. The could qual got really heavy, and I felt way more confident about those two that's, than a lot of the teams in there. That's what I was saying. I was saying that those are two teams I think we would have moved back to should qual. Yeah. Let's look at this. I feel more confident about them. Do you want to work from top Do we have any teams? Or anything? Sure. TSM, DZ, no Pretty changes, in my opinion. There is order dependent God's on players. that. There is order dependent on that. We're, that, we, that is order we dependent. We haven't like, got here and thought TSM's bumped up. Nothing, nothing's come up there. God Slayers, As okay. The, as the collective, including chat's opinion, yes. DZ was placed first. Let it be known, Jayhawk said TSM. It's true. <laughs> I did say. My gut, I don't know, something deep down inside. I it's close, know. though. It's close, though. It was like, you know. Could be could be the Sykes effect. Could be. <laughs> there is something about me that, like, like, with this LAN coming up where I'm sitting here and I'm like, man, it could be so good. A new team's going to win. But I'm like, but the two of them are just going to win it. <laughs> it's, it's just going to happen. Zach and said, what about Optic and Xset? I want you all to know, if Optic and Xset somehow squeezed in the land on my pure Copium, I would have put them in God Slayers. I would have done it. Just going to be honest. Um, but they didn't make it. So, um, um, Moist, SSG, God and Slayer. Legends. Like, yeah. I'm happy with those three there. Do we move any of them up? Do we think Legacy is God Slayer? Do we think I think the only three I'd consider the three NA. I don't think Fnatic or Reject yeah. have earned the right to be there. I will agree. So I, I'm open to any of those three. The one I am least convinced about is LG, two okay. players who have never been Agreed. to land. Sweet. You know, had two double-digit placement performances in his last two lands, so I don't personally think they're a God Slayer team. I think they have the potential, because I do think that Sweet is of the level of IGL that can win a land. I'm not denying that at all. Yeah. But... No, no, no. The the two I that I'm that. wondering would be a DSG or a Legacy. I'm actually now that now that we've kind of added the the extra tier on the finals, I'm more willing to move them up and bump some of these other teams yeah, up. Yeah, like years. yeah, like I'm maybe more willing to move like uh like even like an alliance up to like a final team or something like right. that. Right. So I think we were still talking about like the thing with alliance was still the contests. Like they don't have their POIs. Um. Mm-hmm. But even like, you know, like we bounced Yate back and forth a lot too. Like that's another one that maybe. Yeah. But again, like we talked about think, experience. I don't know. It's, it's really tough. I think I'd put Alliance Finals because let's say even with the POI issue that does happen, if they go to losers round two, I do not doubt they would not make it. Yeah. Like, they've I, also they should, that's a good point. They've also, and they've never missed a finals, I don't think. So I do agree. If they're going to losers round two, I think they're making it. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's. <sighs> okay. Out of the rest of the should qual, do you think there's any teams we should move up? I guess I'm trying to think of the same thing. Like, the criteria we just used for Alliance, I, looking at... Like, I don't think I don't think Cloud9 should move up. I don't there, think Cloud9... I, I was thinking, like, E8 and OXG are the only two that I'm thinking, other than that. They're like, if they're going to lose us back around two, are they getting in? And, uh, I love Oxygen. I feel like they've been a little a little wishy-washy this split. I've seen them dominate. I've seen them do terrible. That feels that doesn't feel like they're guaranteed finals to me. Even though I'm the one who argues they made it back-to-back finals, mm-hmm. the wishy-washiness this split doesn't feel super solid. I yeah. think they should, but that's why they're there. I don't think it's guaranteed. But like the, on the on like almost like the same argument, but on the opposite side, I think that Yates been so consistent that I think that True. they. Will be able Are to get, make it to a- in any groups. No contest, no contest, no contest, no contest. They're not contested in any <laughs> groups. Okay, I'm moving E8 up. If they're not yeah. contested in any groups, no, at Cito Survey Epi, which that could change, I think, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think, I think, like, and they've been so consistent. I do think with the new tier. See, this was really difficult when we didn't have the tier. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. the new when tier, we add, definitely. When we add the new. 
that this is clarified things. This is clarified things. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. E eight. Oh wait. Sorry. I said. I said Cito. They went back to checkpoint. I forgot. Yeah. They went back to checkpoint. Because be yeah, Cito is a little more could still, congested. Can still Dark Zeros try to. It's true. They could. Um. um what are we looking at here? Is there any other teams we'd want to move up? Uh, 07? How do we feel in 07? Like, I know we talked I'm about... I'm going to say Team Burger. I think well, before we go to 07, I'm saying Team Burger, we leave it should qual. Yeah, I, think I agree. Of, now, these three are where I think things gets interesting. I think maybe 07 jumps to finals team. I think, yeah, the other only other team I was thinking about now was like 07, the finals team. Yeah. Um, let me, yeah. I was curious to see something with... Nags has visa issues. Once again, this yeah. whole thing is under the assumption that they're making it to land. We're not going to just assume he doesn't make it. If he doesn't make it, then obviously that changes everything because now he's got two subs. And who does he pick up? I'll be honest. I don't know if this is a official. I don't know who their official sub is. I wouldn't be surprised if they just pick up Sardell because of experience and who knows after that. Yeah, that makes sense. They probably would. Is 07 contested in any groups? Fisher Mirage, uncontested. Sito, uncontested. Fisher Mirage, Sito, uncontested. Thermal in one, where LG, I'm assuming, is. Yep. And I know Nasky's missed. In all group. Na I know Nasky's missed, but it was with a sub. And funny enough, Nasky also had like one of his best performances on land with a sub. So it's like kind of like double edged sword, but it shows like that they have some flexibility and can do it. I, I think I think finals team. Like he's done it with Zero a bunch of different players. Zane and knocked God Squad. Okay. <laughs> this is no offense to his current teammates, but if he picks up Zane and knocked, I think higher of 07 <laughs> than I currently do. This Zane is no offense is actually... to his teammates, but on... those guys are studs. <laughs> on Liquipedia, Zane is still listed as their sub. So who knows? Who knows? Hasn't guy kind of disappeared the entire year? So. <laughs> Actually, wait, now that I think about it, yeah, NA subs, like a Koifel or a Noct, are like way yeah. more possible because it's an NA LAN. Yeah. Ooh. It would be it would be that, yeah. yeah. That'd be interesting. Okay. Um, what about Boogie Borders TYK? Any strong feelings? I think they're they're like the top echelon of should qual teams. Again, like looking at like Boogie Borders, they're all guys who have done it with separate teams before and now they're all together. Um, mm -hmm. so I think that they should qual, uh, we, I just, I haven't seen them like as a squad together on land. So I don't know if they like are an absolute guaranteed finals team yet. Do we um, want to start doing orders by the way for tiers? Yeah, we could do that too. We could do that too. Okay. Um, I uh, actually, we'll do that. We'll do that after that. We'll, we'll move them around. Then we'll go orders. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Um, at least like with the teams in should qual, I think they should all stay there. I don't, yeah, I agree. I don't that. know if I'm bumping up anymore though. Like, do you think you're bumping up? TYK or Boogie Borders? If I bumped one of them up, it'd be TYK. TYK. But I kind of like them currently should qual. If we bump a bunch of could quals up, then maybe we reevaluate, but I feel strong about this one. Yeah. Okay. In could qual then. Let's see who do we bump up. We had North Action. Only... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say the only team that I think I would argue here would be Riddle. But honestly... A vast majority of these, I feel, I feel pretty confident here. Yeah, I was only thinking thinking of going back to our conversations about North Epson and Riddle, uh, because North Epson we had like at the when we were ranking placements, we did put North Epson pretty high on our could qual list. Um, then we kind of changed it. Riddle we did have, we, Riddle we moved down to could qual. We had them in like like the original could qual that we thought was like a finals kind of tier. So. Yeah, I think riddle. we can move them yeah. up. We like them. We we looked at their placements and saw that they had all made land several times, or not land, made a final several times. Yeah. Yeah. And like that's honestly the same criteria almost that I'm giving to Boogie Borders. So. Penny, Penny you said DZ down to early exit. Good comms, Panna. Good comms. Honestly. Okay. Wait, what? 19th and APAC South somehow in Shudgua. <laughs> <laughs> also breath i'm not a matafe hater i'm not a matafe hater at some point like you got to show up like you've, you've you've placed top three in emea so many so many two times last year and didn't show up on land what's to say that this year is any different they swapped out unlucky for uh what's his face now i'm blanking um kid played for e6 
Tyler. Kinda. No, kinda. Oh, kinda. Kinda. Yeah, that's like the difference there. That's the difference. I I I, I personally I think Unlucky's better. And that's no offense to Kinda, because I think Unlucky's a demon, but hold on a second. Hold up. Look, we got we got Bozer. Isn't his nickname Captain America? Because his knockdown shield is always Appreciate up. You both for dropping a follow. <laughs> welcome, welcome. All right, back here. What do we? He's an NA. He can do a line in the bathroom now and win. What kind of calm oh. is that, dude? Yeah, Sombrero coming in hot. One. I agree with if that. If Navi get bottom Switch 10 again, I think we ban the top over boogie I mean, orders? like I said, they ha yeah, I want them to prove up. me They're wrong. I want the top. them to prove me wrong. He should be getting, based on every EMEA performance he's ever had, this man should be getting better than bottom 10. But back-to-back -back lands, he didn't do it. So what's to say that this changes? Who are we talking I don't know. about? I'm just, Matafi? Yeah, we're talking about Navi. Like, no, no, I know I Navi, know. but like, I, who are you guys saying? Like, who's They're saying he has to be cheating uh, on land at this point? Or online yeah, zero, as well. No, he's talking, talking about, about Matafi. He said, if Navi get bottom 10, we have to ban Matafi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Navi should be banned from LAN. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. El I don't know. I, I, I'm just not El convinced Ocho. to put Navi like, above DZ early exit until they like prove it to me. Unreal right now. That's like, where they've they, been. One land that's why they're with, an early like, exit. If they prove it to me, pretty much then winning every other land other than that one. Reevaluating the finals, like but back to back lands the where they should have had the same results that you all are currently arguing they should higher. I placed them higher at the previous two, and this is where this is the spot they've earned. It's the spot they've earned. All right, let's uh, what any, do you, any other thoughts on changes here? I feel pretty confident. No, I, I, I think I like it. Uh, yeah, even like early exit, I don't know if I change any there. Wild cards, I like. I think I like the placements. And like we got like a nice balance between the graph now, or like between the chart now. Like this is exactly yeah. how it should look, I feel. Nick said DSG wild card, surely. I, don't, I mean, maybe I'm on copium, but I don't think that DSG's floor is missing. Apartments.com is now in Canada. And with instant. Because that's kind of what a wild card team to me is. Like I could see them missing finals, I could see them doing Relin finals. Actually, I don't even remember you moving up to God Slayers. It is. Remember we 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 moved yeah, these yeah, teams. Yeah, yeah, I remember Lexi. Yeah, yeah, over. yeah. There was a lot going on, a lot moving. God, Which I will say, between the two, who do we feel more confident in? I know they did more better, but I, I think I feel I feel more confident in Legacy just with their history and like how long they've done it. Right? Like, Design's been playing for a while. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a great team, DSG. It's like they just have had one run. And like this is no disrespect to those boys. But if I'm like even trying to look at like different things, like if we have split two playoff performance and we're looking at OXG, we're probably putting OXG in God Slayers right now. But then like you said yourself, they had that 16th and now we have them all the way down to Should Qual. So like does a, like you know, does DSG come out and put up that same performance that they had at LAN? It's it's the one experience we're looking at. I, Hope we're not looking too much into recency bias, like with it being like a good performance that they did have. Um, so that's that's. I will my say with DSG because they're bringing up they're bringing up the wraith pick. I like the wraith pick, but if they run the rampart, then you guys know how I feel about the rampart and DSG might be moving down a wild card. I don't think yeah. they're going to run the rampart. I don't think they're running rampart Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they've dropped it. Have they brought it back in scrims? Anybody? Because the rampart, we're we're throwing, honestly, we might throw them down an early exit. That's how I feel about Rampart, but the Wraith, I personally like the Wraith. Okay, a lot of people are arguing Legacy over Legends. They dropped it? Okay. Yeah, I even got, like, there's even some people saying Legends above SSG. Like, it's so funny. Like, 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 like I, got, I see your chat saying Legends, like, uh, that's recency bias, and then I got other people telling me Legends should be moved up. So, like, <laughs> um, so you think L Legacy over Legends? I get, like, maybe we are looking at the recency of, like, one tournament with Legends, but has, when's Legacy's last? I like, guess split, or they split two playoffs? Fifth, I'm trying to right? think their best champ. performance. Champs? Yeah, this last champ. champ. They placed yeah, fifth. yeah, I was trying to think of if they ever placed higher than third. Is what oh. I was, like, I know, I was doing um, a lot of thinking without saying what I was, like, thinking. I mean, but to be fair, what was the difference between third Oh, yeah, third it's a couple points, third. a couple points, right? I mean, I will say Legacy had a better chance to win because that final game, they actually had a shot to where I don't remember what Legacy did in that yeah, that game, but it also wasn't a very favorable pull. For I was going to say, that's, it's also the pull was extremely favorable to Legends. Like many people assume that that was Legends game at that point. Where, and where Legends kind of did have a, a troubles closing it out. That wasn't their first game in the top. 
in the top three, top five, and I don't think they won any games in that finals. Did they? Legacy placed 16th in that game. The difference between the three, it was three points. Three points. That's the that's difference between yeah, Blackhand so. and, and LG. And also, LG and Dojo had the exact five, same amount of points. So we points. argue fourth, fifth, but they're kind of the exact same. So, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. move Legends down a tier. I would not, personally. Yeah, I don't think I'd move them down, but like, I wouldn't be upset if we moved uh, Legacy in front of Legends. That I mean, because the three point gap is really not that different. And I will say the one the one tough part for me about legends is I think they're way more likely to get conned. And this is nitpicking here, but like legends? nobody's gonna nobody's gonna be yeah, legends. Nobody's gonna be conning legacy in a finals lobby. And that's what I'm saying. And then like 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 so I get that there's a three point difference, but then also I'm also thinking that legacy's been up like at land several times and like yeah. placing They've placed top five multiple times, and they've also just been to the finals every time, right? So, or yeah, like, because like, not including the one round where, like, you know, they're playing with Gibbs basically complexity's roster. So, because I mean, even with the con last time, like, Legends did not do great when they were playing a Jurassic and they had to move, and they don't yeah. want to con like in the finals lobby, which is a smart thing. Like, you don't yeah. want to be conning in the finals lobby, but like, like we said, they were cutting deals, like cutting deals to not con. Like, hey, if we're like on match point, like we get the POI or something like that. If I if I remember right, there was there was like some conversation going on in the back end. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So I'm definitely taking legacy above them. Do you feel DS like or over legends, or do you think legends is good there? Well, like I'm, I guess like I, that's a tough thing. Like, if I'm thinking like only one, like legend legends has only had one good tournament. And then technically, Disguise has only had one good tournament. To be fair, though, Legends made it to the finals before that, too. Yeah, but then after, like... Yeah, she just wasn't a team. Yeah, I know. And we're talking about, though, we're talking about, like, contesting, and right? And they get contested, and they come 19th. So it's like, whereas on the other hand, we saw DSG take down Alliance in a contest. So it's like, true. you know, if if Legends does get contested, are they better equipped to win that contest and deal with that versus DSG? I mean, yeah, DSG's not going to get conned in the finals lobby unless Alliance was to come back or some sort of, like... I say this not disparagingly, but crackhead team makes it to finals and they want to just con, you know? Yeah. Like a Wonton or yeah, a, a Yoko yeah, yeah. who's like, <laughs> we got the confidence, like, we'll, yeah. we'll con you, bro. Yeah. I'm not saying that they would necessarily go after DSG, but that's the only kind of teams I think would con a DSG to where, like, if an MDY White makes it, if a How makes it, if any of those kind of teams make it, I could see Legends being conned for it. It's it's a tough it's a tough decision because a second ago I was like you know are we okay. putting too much recency bias into the skies but now I'm thinking that they move in ahead of legends so I well don't, hold on I don't know what if what if strafing flame gets even better pre workout that's <laughs> that is that is a good point like you know ups the coughing can- account you know puts puts some maybe maybe he puts some other stuff into there right we don't know what I'm not implying anything but we don't know we don't know what's in the pre workout. Yeah, what if, I mean, you know, because that was over in the UK. What if over here in NA, he can maybe get access to a yeah. little, you know, different stuff here. Like, yeah, does he know, mix it in a little bit? There's so. a, there, there might be a lot of, like, very uh, energizing white powders that all mix together. Yeah. Um, I will say, Zero said earlier, if Legends plays top five on LAN, I retire on the spot. So any DS, any DZ haters, you're really praying for a Legends top five performance here to uh to see zero just retire immediately zero's dramatic i can't imagine like i could count no i like they could count on both my hands and my feet how many times this guy says he's gonna retire if xyz happens yeah he ain't retiring <laughs> especially if tsm yeah. then goes on and wins it like come on you know zero's not retiring until hal's done with the game and then he has no one to battle with anymore true true Legacy wins all of land, and TSM will be the shocker of the tourney. You can make bets on this one by guys. By TSM being the shocker, I'm assuming you're saying they're going to be bad. Uh, does FaZe need a roster change to make the next land? Yes. I mean, usually in NA, it's like almost impossible for you not to have a roster change when you miss it. It's like, I think the teams over last year who missed land and didn't change rosters were like Oxygen, Sentinels, who then eventually had the roster change when Rambo retires. Like, it's uh, like... Very few rosters, tripods, but the, you know none of them outside of oxygen actually eventually go on to do anything. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, real quick. All right, so I feel what good are we about doing? This. You, yeah, are we keeping legends over DSG? I think it's like so marginal that like 
that like, I personally keep them. Yeah, I think it's so marginal. I don't think the the difference is gonna matter too much. Um, yeah. Finals teams, like we're looking here, are we putting? Who are we most confident of these one, two, three, six teams? Who are we like putting least at the confident here? for me? Oh seven. So okay, oh seven. Um, it's kind of funny. I be, actually think E eight. No, yeah, I think E eight over Alliance because we we talked about the contest and we don't know what's gonna happen and like. You know, yeah. we might be surprised. We've seen better teams fall, like out of contending for finals. We've we've seen it. So yeah, like it and can just, happen once again. If if DSG and TSM are in the lobby in a finals match, which we currently yeah. have them there, where are they going on Storm Point? Yeah, we don't this know. is almost like even like we're, we know we're, we're we're certain they're making finals. We're not moving them down, but we're thinking now placement. Like they're gonna get finals yeah. and they're placing this spot. Um, I EA, personally. Would keep LG above the two APAC Norths. Do we think E8's better? That's where it gets tough because now I'm thinking experience in like Fnatic. And like then we talked about how close Fnatic and Reject are. So I actually might be happy with like that that lineup there. I might be happy with like how it is exactly. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I could see E8 jumping these two just because I do feel Fnatic's play style is a little more of a wild card. In fact, yeah. I might do that. I might put reject. Mm -hmm. And okay. you know what? Maybe we do this. Yeah, I saw someone say that put with an E8 right in between. And I'm, I'd be okay with that. Okay, this is a marginal thing. This could be a thing where it's literally a tie or a difference of three points. That's what we're talking about here. Yeah, right. right. So. Not a huge difference, but okay. So should qual. Should qual? I'm thinking... Hmm... I think we put... T you, you talked about even moving TYK up. So like... I think we put TYK first. Yeah. I'm putting Oxygen second. Yeah, I was thinking TYK, Oxygen. Now my th my question is... I feel are stronger like, about Boogie Borders than these three. You do? Okay. Because I, I was going to ask yeah. about C9 being a, uh, you know, a team that's just had to deal with NA and everything like that. Cloud9, I, I, I was honestly tempted to put them a wild card. Yeah, you said that because of the Al Pacino the Gambit, the Al Pacino Gambit. Did wait? Did I put them in should qual because? Oh wait, you you had them. What? You wanted to put them in what wild card because because of Al Pacino. Because of okay. your whole okay. speech was because of the, if Naughty watches the Al Pacino thing or not. I will say Naughty's been frying. Like yeah, that guy. Been. I I think this might be the best version of Naughty we've ever seen, which is kind of crazy. Like he's he's been on one recently. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. So it's like I'm trying What's to figure out like are they better than. I think I would maybe Plus take him over Burger. Yeah, at the very least, I think I'd move him up. And then, like, again, we're, we're looking at some marginal differences here. I think I'd leave the rest. Or I think these are fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Sharky, Pricey, I would probably take him over Riddle currently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Way, way is a demon, too. Mm -hmm. Could What's Al Pacino's win rate at LAN? Uh, we didn't get to see Al Pacino last year. Naughty yeah. didn't make it, unfortunately. Yeah, no, no Al Pacino. Naughty, he, didn't, he didn't bust it out at the right times. He used it sparingly, a.k.a. I didn't watch him do it. So, apparently, he does it every match day. Yeah, no Al Pacino. But the two matches I watched, they did great. So, okay, could qual. Could qual. This is where I, I honestly even get to into the era area of like, how much does the even this placement? I don't, well, I don't qual. care about specific individual placements, but do we feel like one team should be at the front, one team should be at the back? These That's kind what of I deals. think. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe. Honestly. BR Demons. Oh, you like BR Demons? I think Demons I might up put there. them at the top. You They've like been looking there? really good in scrims, and this could just be me like hard coping on scrims. But Artin and Besk, who is their coach, but they've made it to finals lobbies before. I think BR Demons should be at the top here. How about, uh, I was thinking though, with like how? Do we move how up? How? Hmm. Well, let's, let's put a pin in how, because I want to talk about some other teams first okay. that I, I don't know. What do we think about like uh, like a two R one C because they've made it to finals in the past. They almost made it at split two playoffs last year. They're kind of trolling in scrims, which we've heard they're running rev crypto, yeah, yeah, so we yeah. can't really take a ton in their their current scrims performances. What do we think about two R one C? I feel like they should kind of be above. They can like, move up, yeah. They can move up. Like the the, the scrims thing is it's funny because like, they're just trolling. So there's not even anything we could use there. But you got yeah, yeah. I think passion UA probably near the bottom. Serenity, we're going to leave at the bottom because we're just not familiar. We're not yeah. familiar with the game. It's going to be real. This could be a mo this could be the the post the Shack meme with the the Serenity logo. You know, 
Well, the biggest one, the biggest one for you is going to be wonton dumpling. That's you're going to post the shack thing for you. If, for if the... wonton goes crazy, I will post the shack meme and I will at the players. I will, I will post the shack meme and at the players. I don't know if they have Twitter. Yeah. If they don't, I will just post it with the wonton logo. I was not familiar with your game. Um, I'm thinking. This you is wanna, tough, actually. Yeah, it is really tough. Like, this is now in the area where, like, I mean, mind you, like, there's just a lot of APAC North teams is the one thing. But funny enough, the only one, like, I, I'm thinking is is how here that I that I might. I know you said put a pin in it, but I'm just, like, I'm looking at the list of the other teams, and it's just the only. Do we think how is better? They're, like, 18th right Trope. now, but then after. Where's Kina Trope on the. How's currently 19th in scrims. Kino Trope, who they're both dealing with contests, is 23rd. I mean, there's there there is a 15 point gap between the two, but Kino Trope does have a DNP where they did not participate. Kino Trope also has a second place that's better than any of Howe's. Yeah, I feel like Kino Trope is better than Howe personally. We'll see but what I I'm do... looking at is Kinotrope. We have like a third right now. So I'm not moving Kinotrope down. I'm just moving right. the how up. Okay. Do we? I hmm, hmm. I think NTH is worse oh, than yeah. how. Yeah, even though they're doing better in scrims. But yes. I just I don't know. Be, how much we be, can look I will say about NTH it. though. NTH has, has done historically Canada. really good in scrims. And with custom search tools, uh, I could be some people could be, a... correct me here, but I'm pretty sure historically they have done very good in previous scrims. So Here's the question, though, for the APAC North teams. What do we feel about Crazy Raccoon? They've had solid performances before. They've been to land finals. Chat, I'm sorry. I've never dealt with so many ads on Liquipedia before. Sorry, were you asking chat that or were you asking me that? I was you. dealing... Sorry, I didn't hear your question. Oh, do you, I don't know how... I've never dealt with so many ads popping up on Liquipedia before. I'm like uh, fighting them, man. <laughs> you're good. Uh, Crazy Raccoon. How Crazy do we Raccoon. feel about them? They haven't looked great this split, but historically... Mm -hmm. Out of any of these teams, they're the most experienced when it comes to land finals, I believe. Yeah. Um, Chat saying bad vibes. Bad vibes with Crazy Raccoon. I Wait, now we've got some we've got some other opinions saying they rate crazy. About, I see that bad vibes. I I I kind of like the way it's looking. Like this actually kind of even goes with how we've talked in the past where we we see. You know, we got the APAC North above some of the EMEA teams in there and in, in our could qual stage. And I'm okay with that. Like, and like, I don't know if I, I don't know if the placement matters too much between like Kinotrope, How, North Epshin, sure. and Crazy Raccoon at this middle portion. Right? Like, I think it's all very close. I think I'm going to put them above NTH personally. That's fine. I, I trust the history. I think they, they have the potential to pull it together. I know that Rui, who I do trust Rui a lot on the APAC North info, is saying that they have no clue what they even want to play. But I don't know. Crazy Raccoon's been there. Like I said, I'm very indifferent at this point. I do find it, like, I, I'm pretty sure... I mean, yeah, it's literally one spot. You were, you were pulling pretty hard for North Epshin earlier on, I think, though, if, I, if I'm recalling this whole conversation back. Well, here's, here's <laughs> the deal with North Epshin. I don't really believe in the Newcastle on land, personally. I yeah. like watching the Newcastle because it's interesting, it's unique, I don't believe in it. I also just don't really... I mean, it's the same deal that I have with Rampart. I don't really rate the whole utility of cover, and it's helping you after you get knocked. Like, I, I don't... I prefer characters that help you before you get knocked. So yeah, I see what you're saying. Who it was Hundred Thieves that did really good on ramp or not rampart. Uh, Hundred Thieves did place third. They placed New, third with Newcastle. the Newcastle Watson. Third, so it's possible. They did place third. I think it is possible. This was also Gibby Caustic meta. Yeah, Gibby Caustic meta. But like, I'm I'm just not. You don't have a bank smoke that could just be put in front of your wall, and now you can't see anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, is, like I said, I'm indifferent. This isn't slander. I'm indifferent. This isn't slander. North you guys Epshin should plays... know this is how I feel with the way I feel about Rampart. Like Newcastle Rampart are somewhat similar vein of how you play. Jay hates walls confirmed. Here's the funny part too. I actually was Marcus. on like a really big Canada. Newcastle grind when he came out. Like I actually enjoy playing Newcastle, but comp is just a different story, dude. It's a different story. Oh yeah, I I actually enjoy like Newcastle like for like ranked and stuff like that. But definitely like I do agree that 
Oh, but bereft, dead. here's the thing. I also don't uh, I don't like like the whole lifeline stuff of having a character that helps you after you go down. Like it's it's the things I hate about Rampart and the things MDY I hate about White, Lifeline are smushed together into one finals? character called Newcastle. No, I think we're go. looking at MDI White for the most part. They're they're players they so, didn't I could be getting anyway. confused. Or lock okay, any any more thoughts but, on Good Qual? I'm fine with this personally. No, I'm solid. Like I said, like I was I know you were going through those two teams, but I was pretty indifferent to them. You moved MDY White now. I'm gonna yeah. move MDY White because they made it to land. Because yeah, they yeah. Okay, early exit. How do we feel? I would say I, I do. <laughs> I'm putting Navi at the top because out of all these teams, once again, they should, they should do better than early exit. Yeah, they, they should. should do better. They shouldn't be. So the only like the only reason I feel so strong about here is because they haven't they proved have. it, but they should. Y yeah, with so. the early exit teams, this is like the thing. Like down at the, like at the top, I'm very like easy and confident to be like. I think this team's better than this team. Like, they could place better here. At the bottom, like, it's kind of like I'm almost... This is where we're giving the prediction of who we think is coming last. Um, right. Right? Because, like, when I'm looking at this, like, we, we talked about heroes and you have a bunch of experience. Like, Made in Heaven, I guess you can move to the end because they haven't been doing good in scrims. They were a PSQ team, a Challengers team. So, they got the least experience probably in this entire LAN. Um, as I'm, a squad. Dude, oh Chinese yeah, team I forgot bottom. about that again. Like their their Which, logos honestly just confuse me. NTC is this one. So yeah, wait. You think NTC is better than the other one? But at least in scrims, it hasn't been the case. No. You asking me that? No, I didn't say that. No, no, no. Chat. Oh wait, oh. they're literally right next to each other. Yeah, I was like, I didn't, I didn't say that. <laughs> I don't know. I the, these are these are whatever. That's fine. Yeah, those are again like their logos even throw me off. So. Um, yeah, like I, I like that. Then we got heroes, but they've had a couple I of think land Yoko, placements. Yoko, I'd probably put them probably. above the other teams because, like, let's say hypothetically they do win the cons, and then we're in, then we're cooking. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. And then wild cards, like, I, do wild cards even have a placement? Like, nah, who's I, the I'm, best wild not, card? That's what I'm these saying. These are like, not in order. Yeah, these are like, not in order. like, who this is the best wild card? I don't know. I think I'm happy with this list. I think it's yeah. solid. Only took three hours and 13 minutes, but like there's a lot True. of thought put into this list and True. I think it came out half decent. I I, I think we'll please 60% of people and piss off 40%. Yeah. I think this is solid. Yeah, what, you, what up, Vlato? Like chats, W's or L's? That's what we need to know. W's or L's? Oh, you got a, you got an ad running. Let's, let's let the ad run uh, and then we'll, oh. we'll get everyone for the W's and L's. Solid list, W. Text yeah. a Joker. What? Uh, NTC Joker. Okay, L W's or L's? W, w's or L's, chat? W's or L's? What are we thinking? Are we We're thinking... getting a lot of W's here. Yeah, a lot, lot of w's. w's? That's I, I respect that. That's pretty good. I think this is a good list. I think you did some. I think you did some heavy lifting there, though, Jay. Like I was, like, I was like no. clicking around as you were like throwing, and then I was like, and then after like you had to jog my memory, and it was it was good though. I, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. And I think that's okay, a good but, list. But at the same time, you're here to kind of anchor, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, you saw yeah, how yeah. many times <laughs> I sit here, and all of a sudden a factor that I didn't even consider like 30 <laughs> minutes prior gets brought up in the chat, and I'm like. Oh, no, I got right. you. I'm, I'm you know what I mean? And then, <laughs> so you're you're the one who has to make sure that I don't just sit here for six hours and just contradict <laughs> myself over and over. <laughs> no, I got you. I'm kidding, obviously. Tack, you know what? Tack, you actually don't get an opinion. I'm going to say that. <laughs> Tack, I'm not a Furia hater, dude. No. Like, y'all can push this thing all you want. It's not true. It's not true. All of I chat a, gets an opinion except for Tack. Yeah, Tack gets zero opinions. Overall W, but some hard disagree. I mean, hey, that's the nature of tier list. That's how it's going to go. Yeah. Everybody, that is going to be it for me and Jumba. Yep. Jumba, I, I appreciate will you say, being here. Yeah, and appreciate, you know, having me on and, like, you know, setting this up. I will say, I think some of the pros that popped in and out here today would be happier about this list now that it's done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel sad that, you know, E8's not here anymore because all those boys, I think, felt a little bit disrespected. But once we added in that other tier, it cleared things up. And uh, I think they would feel a little bit better about their placement here. Um, even though I'm not doing it for their approval That's because... No, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Who cares? I didn't, yeah, I didn't... Uh, I was not changing my opinion for anyone. That's, that's yeah. not working. Chat, you know where to find it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna download this bad boy. Yeah. Post it on Twitter. Load it up on Twitter. And, um, shoot me a tag, so I'll retweet it or something. 
Yeah, I'll tag you. And, uh, you know, if in a couple weeks you want to hop back on for the three hours and redo it, like literally a couple days before <laughs> yeah, land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then... I'm down. Right before and that the one flight. Sh- Let's do it. That, right before my that flight. one should hopefully be faster because we already kind of have a baseline to work off of. Maybe just if we yeah. want to revisit and change it, we can. Revisit. Yeah, we might not need three hours. We might not need three yeah. hours. But I'll... Uh, yeah, I'll do it. We'll do it from the. I'll do it from the airport if you want. We'll do it literally the thirtieth. <laughs> the airport. All right, everybody. Oh, I'm geez. posting on Twitter. Go show some love. Official land tier list. No debates. Never. No debates ever. Uh. Well, hold on. How do I incorporate your tag now? Official. Uh, hold on. You could like link it on a photo if you wanted to. Oh yeah, or, yeah, like yeah. you can put it in the. No, I'm gonna tag you in the thing because yeah, the... it makes sure people know that you helped make it. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot about Official that. Official land tier list with Jumba, no debates. Boom. There we go. Let's get this. There it is. All right. I think. It's How so... can you hate think... one team so much, man? I don't understand. Here comes Jax. Here he comes. Here he comes. Is that Barra? Hey, like, let Barra know yeah. you timed him out, like, offline the other day because of some yeah, crazy Barra, you were comments. Getting wild. You were getting wild and more overs. We were doing a thing over there, and I heard you were making some wild comps. Yeah, dude. like some stuff about fanfic so, and, and stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to scroll back and find it. He did say he'd vote for you for president. It's okay, Jesco. Uh, I can't find but, uh, it. But anyway, I threw in the, the tweet, though. If you can check Appreciate it out, yeah, y'all. check I'm out gonna the vlog. The it's going to be up. Go blow live it up. Go show it some love. We end here. We're going to end here in just a couple minutes. And there you go. That's going to be it for me. Yep. Jumba, any final words? No, that was, like I said, that was fun. We'll bounce back. I'm sure we'll we'll think of another topic to try and have one of these two, three-hour discussions, and we'll be back uh, someday, someday. We, we got no schedule for this, but we'll, we'll pop on again, yep. right? Like, we'll, we'll figure it out. So be yeah. ready for, right. for the tweets. <laughs> All right. Sounds All right. good. See everybody. Bye-bye. I'm just going to deafen for real quick. Sec, sec J and then give me a minute. Chat. Yeah, that's going to be it for me too. Thank you guys for hanging out. I know that there was... Oh, did my camera die? What the hell? My camera closed down. Was this me? I wonder when that happened. Would have been great to know, but my camera died. That's going to be it for me, chat. Appreciate you all hanging out on the YouTube side and the uh, Twitch side. I will catch you guys in a uh, another stream. I'm going to try to think of something to do like this myself. And then get Jay on. And then we're going to keep collaborating like this and doing these streams here and there. Uh, so love you all. Have a good one. Talk to you.